Alrighty, chat. Is everyone ready for another exciting episode of Rod Grind? Oh my god, Hulky, yeah. you need to get into the, 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 the foundry. If you don't get into the foundry, it's all gonna fall apart, Hulky. What are you doing? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't get this game. Okay. Get the game! Get in the game! Get inside! He's oh, no, not getting into the foundry. Shit? I've sent no, him to not. Italy. No, he's gonna enjoy Alfa Romero racing. No, <laughs> no. Oh, no I eat the spaghetti. Script? My health is low. Out of control. I'm losing it here. Hey, who wants to play Cruelty Squad? Yeah, we'll go play Cruelty Squad. Yeah, bring it up. We'll yeah, yeah, this is uh, whatever. Sure. No, bring it up. Like, Chat, do you want Cruelty Squad? I got it. Uh, we can. We can just not play Pathfinder today. We just do Cruelty Squad. Yeah. And, uh, All right, you got it. Organs. I'm booting it up. There wasn't anything important happening in today's session, anyways. Like no, no big fly not. Mac dick oh, encounter. That's now, fine. Don't that. worry about it. Let's nah, find whatever. the path to a different game. <laughs> Let's <laughs> find the path. Oh, 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 oh. All right, here we go. Ow. Here we go. Oh my God, he's so legit. Bring up on you. Did. Of course he did. Of course he did. <laughs> All right, chat. This is now going again. to be a cruelty <laughs> squad stream. All right, cruelty squad, everyone. Uh, Zorin, if you want to like click on your docs and change the game type here, we'll move yeah, from D &D absolutely. To... <laughs> I'll just change everything. Let me just capture oh. the screen. <laughs> and let me just go to here and then change this and then go to here and then I see cruelty squad. I'm gonna I'm gonna capture that. And then I'm gonna go over here. And then I'm going to just mess up my entire overhead. Uh, I actually quit. Here. Never mind. Damn Make it. sure you go into your dock <laughs> and click the docs button to release all my personal details. <laughs> oh, I already have. I like how through Sorry, the process of opening Cruelty Squad, I somehow started watching a snipe and web stream on accident. <laughs> it's like, I, wait, I didn't mean to click that. <laughs> Whoopsies. Whatever, yeah. I'm here. But hi, everybody. No more Welcome squad. to another episode of Rock Grind, brought to you by our lovely patrons at patreon.com forward slash narrative declaration. You will know anything more about us and stuff if you're new or just randomly found us on a podcast thing or YouTube thing, any other place or whatever. You can always find who we are, where our schedule is when we do go live at narrative declaration.com. But I'd like to ask everybody here to introduce themselves once more, like we always do, so everybody here knows. The amazing individuals that do bring you this show. Starting off with Oda Roshi. Hello, uh, I am Odo. You can find me on Twitter at Oda Roshi Writer. I am going to play. I'm going to be playing Bali, the Sylph Swashbuckler. And um, you know, I'm I'm so glad to be here, uh, here in in Italy with my friends. Um, Alpha and Bisa. Yeah, yeah, my known Italian, Alpha Busa. Um, Mamma mia. <laughs> of course. Papa All right, mia. yeah. Go to the next person. Next person is Hokey Crow. That's me. I'm Hokey Crow. I am here to be playing the Kenrasu cleric, Rahua. And as the people in my town love to say on this very hot Saturday, where else would you rather be than here? There's a lot of places. Okay. I, I okay, like... fuck you. I was being sentimental. Okay. No, no, no. Next person. <laughs> next person. Wow. The Ouch. Next uh, up uh. is Arendil. Hello. My name is Arendil. I'm playing Baldrick. He is uh, he's an alchemist. He explodes things. You can find me on Twitter at Arendilio, and I do things, and I write for Alpha Busa. We just recently released a special regarding a horse. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, we're in Italy. Yep, right now. I have I have a meatball. I'm preparing to throw it at speaker when he starts his his bit. True. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah. No. Uh. Yeah. No. Uh. Speaker. Go ahead. All right. Hey, guys. I'm speaker. Ow! Oh, in my eye. You've been meatball. Ah! Anyway, I'm speaker. D. I'm playing Tannhauser here. Tannhauser, if you're not aware, is the Android Magus revolutionary here to bring down the house. Uh, my Twitter is at SuperSnake. If everyone was listening on Twitter, it's usually at the end of the show, but I'll do it at the beginning. And by the way, I just want to make one announcement for everyone. This is a very important announcement. Everyone needs to hear it, okay? Huh? Soda! Ah! Thanks, ah! Mama. Ah! 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 Fuck. 
Oh, bum no. <laughs> I attacked him directly through his modem. That was the meatball. Oh, no, his life points. That, that was the other meatball. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't make enough to go to Italy this year, so I'm stuck <laughs> not in Italy. I Next up, we have <laughs> our illustrious game master as Speaker D dies, Mr. Thurston Hillman. Why, hello there! My name is Thurston Hillman, or Thirsty, or on call GM. I am the uh, game master adjudicator of this game. I look forward to uh, tormenting our players today in what will surely not be an important session at all. Uh, you can find me because Speaker did it. You can find me on the tweeters at on call GM and like on all the things at on call GM. I work for Paizo Publishing, the people who make Pathfinder 2nd Edition. Uh, I primarily work in their digital department doing one shots and other cool adventures and you can find me there but Zoran do you have yeah. any news for us today because I'm turning this around on you oh yeah I'm always the last last dude yeah. I am I am Zoran the Bear I'm playing Orin the Strix Druid who uh was recently Rat Druid last episode uh for any news announcement stuff um if you guys go and check out our Patreon we usually like to kind of use the Patreon as like a blog system sometimes uh I think next week we are going to be taking a wee little break. Uh, we're also going to be having a Q&A session over at the end of it because uh, we're reaching an interesting point in the show. And uh, there's a whole bunch of amazing PDFs coming through along with the Warhams special that we're doing. If you all love, you also see the preview of all the art pieces of all our lovely characters for the Warham, pre uh, Warham uh, special. So you can basically... Um, you know, if you are a Patreon member or if you are a subscriber on Twitch, uh, you will also be able to get all the awesome exclusive stuff. Because it'll be a Patreon only thing along with a uh, Twitch only thing. So if you're subscribed to it, you'll be able to see the sub only stream. And you, if you are part of the Patreon, uh, you will also get access to the uh, exclusive uh, YouTube VOD of that session. So you see all of the old Warhams crew come in along with Odoroshi's Dili uh Is it Diliana, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And Diliana. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll be able to see them uh, interact with each other in the rock grind setting, and see them all come back for one little last hurrah. So yeah. So if you are part of that, that's what we have going along there, along with a bunch of amazing PDFs for coming in, like a standalone adventure, a uh, player's guide to outset pretty much the world or the city that we've kind of been playing in currently. So if you too want to run your adventures here in the rock grind setting or in the same city that we're in. You will now have all the information that you need to, along with a neat little adventure to kind of uh, help start you off with. But yeah, with that, Thurston, what adventure do you have for us today? Unless I forgot something. Wow. Like, no, you didn't. You, you <coughs> aced that. Chat, can we get a round of applause for Zorin? He did a great job introducing us to oh, this great. session. Good um, job. Oh, yeah. Yes, very good, very good. All yeah. right. But... Every time, so I want to point this out because this is just a point of contention. Every time it's like, what do you have in store for us today? And then I like immediately I'm like, well, before I tell you what I have in store, let's recap last session, which we're going to do because last time on Rush Grind, our destined band of chuckle fucks made their plans to infiltrate the tyrant's guild fortress of Delg Sanren House. Splitting the party into three distinct groups, because splitting the party is always a great idea, the PCs made their way towards the fortress. Orin flew in through a skylight, entering uh, into a bathroom where he encountered a noble hiding from the ongoing gala. Meanwhile, Vali and Tannhauser entered through the front door, attempting to bluff their way past the guards. Their deception was met with light skepticism, so one guard went to confer with the leader in the basement. Of course, Rahua, Baldrick, and Sir Crunch had made their way into the basement where they confronted the garrison with Baldrick leading the combat with a barrage of bombs, just like bombs per days. <laughs> Meanwhile, Vali and Tannhauser continued their deception, eventually heading upstairs to investigate a set of closed doors that were powerfully locked. During all of this, Orin was a rat, by the way. I need to stress Orin was a rat. Things escalated. The group pursued fleeing Tyrant's Guild members downstairs and joined the combat with Baldrick and Rue and Crunch, where our group has now reconvened after a fairly intense combat, if I may say.
say so, uh, leaving many corpses on the floor, uh, one volley very wounded. And I suppose we can hand things off to our players here because everything is totally okay, right? Off to our players. Oh, my organs! Well, oh, we got to be okay. All right, hold on. Uh, Baldrick's going to rummage around in, in the shared pack that we have and point out the fact that we have many healing potions to still use. I mean, we don't have to use any of the healing potions. I mean, I could help you out, Volley. Rahua, you would like to help me? Of course. Of course I would. Hey, I Excellent. need to be on the map, please. You are on the map. Uh, yeah, and that's, I'm seeing a black screen. Uh, uh, refresh your right? thing. Refresh, refresh your, your screen. Damn you to hell! But uh, as so, I'd like to propose mm -hmm. a uh, a little cooperative thing, Pokey. If you absolutely want to help me out with it. Um, so, Polly, I want to heal you. And stuff. If you would accept my druidic healing, I think last oh, episode maybe. you got basically destroyed, and you're like one HP right now. Yeah, uh, I'm at so, two HP. <laughs> So what I'd like to do is like, uh, or we can ask for her to come. Like, like uh, yeah, Rura, can you come over here quick? I, I need your assistance. And ask for you to come over, and he's gonna Rura cast Rura healing Rura. plaster, so we can get it. But as he casts it, he goes like, like Rura, do you like, or like, like, uh, what Orin would like to do is kind of ask for Rura. Is like, do you have any, um, any additions to yourself? Do you like carry any critters or anything? Well, I don't have anyone beyond Glug Talk at the moment. No, I meant but like, I could. You know, like bugs. You have like a slight termite problem in your leg. Glug Talk you help. You wanna... Banish that thing now. Shush. <laughs> I re Actually, I don't think I hit. Has it been eight hours since I last cast Pet Cash? Um. Yeah, I think it's been it's been slightly over eight hours. Does he only last eight hours in the Pet Cash, or how long does he stay in the? Pet That's how long Pet Cash lasts. Um, you know, <clears throat> can we can we set up a thing where Hulky reasonably reapplies pet cash every eight yeah, hours? Yeah, like if like I I can assume that like Glub Talk is permanently in the pet cash. By the way, chat these these players don't like Glub Talk, so he's just staying in he's the Pokeball fine. for a while. He's okay. Glub I don't talk. get why everyone. Has he's to not Glub valuable talk. right now. Therefore, he's he stays. Buddy. He stays I'm a in the funny trash bag. I'm a real glubhead, yeah. T yeah tell, you tell you what, tell you what, because for, for my fellow glubheads out there, uh, <laughs> <laughs> glubheads rise up. As Rahua is leaning down towards Vali's bleeding viscera, uh, just kind of assessing the damage, he'll extend his one hand with the you know, bit of orb in it. He'll splay his fingers, and glove top will pop out in a flash of light. Since now, Pat Cash has expired. Glab glub talk, I. I'm going to need your assistance with this bit of delicate work here. Would you care to help? There is a a nod, a a deep seated nod of Glub Talk help. Also, Glub Talk apparently <laughs> had persistent acid damage. I'm taking that off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Baldrick still got to him. God damn! <laughs> Glub Talk burned for eternity in the prison. No. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to Ruhua's mostly acid-free pocket dimension. Oh, an experience! It's been! This is on mostly. Mostly. Dab talk help? Yes, Glab talk help. Uh, Ruhua will... I, I, I want to just generally cast heal on her. Actually, do I I do have healing tools, so... Uh, oh, you want Glab talk sure to help you, you with this? He will, but I'll I'll get to that in a second. Okay. okay While okay. this is happening, can I please wipe the acid off of me? Uh, yeah, roll me a d20. Great. Seven. Roll me a d20 again. Cool. 16. Yes, it's gone. Terrific. So, um, we're gonna go, okay, if you don't have any bugs, all right, Glob Talk, I need, I need your assistance. I need to help make this healing plaster work out to help Volley. Don't worry, Volley, be just fine. Uh, Why find me every Glob bug help. you can find. Oh, uh, what? Bugs? What? Fill her with bugs! Like yes, cockroaches, centipedes, spiders, uh, anything uh, you could um, find. 
That, that's, I, it's okay, Volley. It's okay, Volley. We, we got I you. I, I may have I like some tendons. The smoke dissipates as Glove Talk walks through the corpses. Glove Talk, you may want to check my upper carapace. You might be able to find some small isopods in there. They're usually good at keeping some of the well, plant matter alive. Oh, that Glove Talk's great. size is enough for him to go into the cells. Where Glove Talk goes through the cells of the prison. And I should, for um, for those of you who are listening, indicate that where we last left off, uh, our party was in the basement of Derek Sandron House, which uh, appeared to be like a prison with about five um what five by ten little little cells uh lined up against walls times four so there's you know 20 cells here of which only one is currently occupied by a small child um which the party has forgotten about for you know good reasons club talk however is tiny enough to move between the cells is going through and collecting like a small cache of bugs before rushing back underneath the table in the center um there are various implements of not good things and then there is a door to the south that opens to a jutting room which is this absolutely opulent bedroom which has like a sofa couch uh, uh, like a, a, a twin bed, a nightstand with a book, it has carpet. The rest of the room, however, is entirely like some kind of torture chamber. Lab talk, help! And like comes up to you, Volley, with like a swarm of skittering bugs, many of which are walking along, like between the elbow and the wrist, like skittering along Glub Talk's tiny fetal like hands. Glub Talk, help! Oh, good job, Glub Talk. Give him here. And Orin's oh, yeah, going. Oh, Talk, help! And like comes over to you, Orin. Okay, Orange going is like, don't worry, Volley, it's, it's an old druidic recipe. It heals your wounds up right up, and he puts the bugs in his mouth and starts uh, crunching and then yeah, spits it right into the healing home. plaster. Hey, um, Tannhauser. Yes. Can you give me a wisdom check? Actually, a will save. Let's go for a will save. Yes, this makes sense because Tannhauser is terrified of bugs. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Because of the horrible soda bit I did at the beginning of the stream. No I, more coughing. I'm going to be coughing up a lot. That's perfect. <laughs> I love I it. Sprite directly into my body. 15. That's a win, right? It is. As you're seeing this, Tannhauser, um, and, and specifically Speaker Dean, um, this is triggering a flashback for you. Uh, for something very similar in a desert far away that you remember from your mentor teaching you about bugs. Would you like to tell us a little bit about that scene? I would love nothing more. So Brumblo. Please. No, <laughs> Brumblo is not there. Mark me down. Off the <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I believe you have a name for your mentor who I'm hoping you're not furiously trying to find right now, but... Yes, of course I'm not! Yeah, of course. Um, well, of course. I remember very vividly on mm -hmm. the hard sands. Not yes. far from Zaskorin when we were on the run. It was just her and I. And we had happened upon the beetle traders of the Northwest Peninsula known as Galrock. And on... The Northwest Gal Peninsula known as Galrock. That's right. Okay. So this would probably, uh, if we were to have the world map of Tyne out, which I'm totally not just desperately opening right now in an attempt to make sure that whatever bullshit you're spewing makes sense actually makes sense... Um, let's see here. Thurston you gets the Thurston, book. you opened this can of worms. No, I you... did. I absolutely did. I just want to make sure. No, 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 no. I, I know. It's, make... it's just funny how you're like, all right, whatever bullshit you're saying, I'm going to confirm. No, 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 no. This is, this is good. This is good. Um, okay. So the uh, peninsula of Galrock is more of a westward jetting peninsula, um, which is a loose peninsula in terms of, like, you know, actual geography. But it is... Um, like the very, very 
border of the Mornracked Expanse to the far north of Perdoma. Cool. I just need to make sure that worked. Carry on, speaker. Of course, of course. And within the Northwest Peninsula, not located in the Northwest, but is in fact referred to as the Northwest Peninsula of Galrock. <laughs> Sorry, I'm Keep stupid. going. No, this Tenhauser. is great. This is, this is how we build up our fucking lore, guys. Keep going. Tannhauser was able to encounter several of the Galrock Beetle Riders, and upon witnessing one become envenomed by their own Rider Beetle, there was a homestyle remedy created by the great peoples of the Sands, made of ash and several mixtures of chitinous creatures intermixed with deep druidic magics. This was able to preserve the limbs of the Envenomed Rider and allow them to make passage further back towards outset. Tannhauser's mentor's home. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, with your your 15, which is a reasonable check at a, um, at a will save, from this memory you remember from Galrock, the sort of area that's like just at that border of the Mornracked Expanse, um, the Mornracht Expanse is an area north of Perdoma. Perdoma is the continent that you are currently on. Uh, it is kind of the, uh, if you consider Tyne as like a world that is flat, which it isn't because flat earthers are dumb. Um, Perdoma is the central continent located near the sort of like central middle. Um, Outset is located on sort of a jut to the west near the like slightly above middle central point. The northern point, which is kind of this other jut of land, is called the Mornrack Expanse. It is a section of nobles which have endured into undeath. Now, with that being said, there is a borderland there where there are beetle riders that are these um like kind of centuries against the region of the Mornrack Expanse because the vast majority of the Perdoman continent is actually made up of several nation states, which you've heard of before known as the Inheritor Lands. Um, when the, the pantheon of the first house, the king, the queen, the bishop, and all of the rest ascended into divinity, they left the empire they created, which stretched across three continents, uh, and Perdoma fell into a bunch of bickering nation states, one of which you've heard, like Legibet from Sir Crunch. Uh, there, there are a multitude of others. And w with that, you, uh, you know that there is one that borders the northern edge of Perdoma just before the Mornracht Expanse, because the Mornracht Expanse aside from Outset is the only non-inheritor land on the Perdoman continent. And as I quickly check um, uh, totally not a PDF that we're going to release in the future. Uh, ah yes, the lands of Tolivar are the lands that border the Mornracht Expanse. And you know that there are beetle riders that move around there, Tannhauser, and your, your mentor has explained this to you. Um, the land of Tolivar are, like, if, if, if you had to sort of, like, pin down what Tolivar is, it's a land of sheltered villages with no centralized leadership. It's just kind of the the buffer zone between Perdoma and the, the, the Inheritor Lands of Perdoma and the Mornracht Expanse. Kind of like, oh, if if the Mornracht Expanse and their, their people ever decide to invade the Inheritor Lands, they have to go through Schittsville. So it's a bunch of, like, loosely aligned hamlets and villages, which are known for two things. One, speaker you have just created the beetle riders of course and two the wandering spellcasters known as garlic mancers and this is what you know of that region see does Orin's magic remind me of this does it seem as though it comes from this region or I think it's it's more of a of a like like memory because what what was your mentor's name speaker 
Oh, I remember it very well. I absolutely am sure you remember the name of your mentor so well because I remember it because her name was Lady Zale. That's what I was, of course, going Uh, about to say. That was her name. Yeah. Um, So Lady Zale had told you of like the sort of like wandering uh beetle uh like and and the beetle knights were something of like a kind of like don quixote they were the people who went at the border of the mornract expanse because the mornract expanse is this desolate tundra north of the inheritor lands it's filled with like aristocratic undead and so these beetle riders patrol the border to make sure that these like these undead don't get any ideas of invading the south. Of course. And garlic mancers are just like another thing that you would like kind of hit with knowing of that region of Tolovar. Um, mostly because you're totally going to get an archetype for garlic mancers later on, everybody. So if you want to run your own rock grind campaigns, you're going to be able to play a garlic mancer. You know it. I like garlic. I love garlic. Warren, you were, I believe, getting some bugs on you as our uh, dear uh, Tannhauser had I this realization. Seeing, seeing Tannhauser just, I guess, looking with a thousand yard stare having his flashback or just kind of <laughs> looking up at him a little bit his mouth going, <laughs> just you know like that gif of that where those little things like the wobbly little things or a little play-doh looking guy just just munching He's like what you think about ten hours <laughs> seeing you chew those beetles reminds me of a great adventure i once had with my mentor in the far off sands of galrock you must have learned that technique from a great beetle rider, no doubt. And that's a beetle rider. <laughs> but they ride with beetles. I've got that down now. Yes. Watches! What the? <laughs> <laughs> puts it in his, he puts his healing plaster <laughs> and starts rubbing together. I would like to, um, I'd like to cast first aid on a valley. And I would like hey, to- Hey, first aid, you want to take us out of combat too, unless you want us to like combat valley. Uh, you're oh, yeah, you're just, out of combat. Oh, am I not, have I not ended the, the thing? One second. Okay. You have not because Rahua is. Already. End encounter! There I could get a final blow. Final blow. Okay, be happy there. I'm not getting enough kills. <laughs> At any cost, whatever it takes. We gotta, we gotta <laughs> increase our KDR. <laughs> no. our I would like to, uh. I would like to assist, if I can, as far as helping. Heal Vali. And I would like to Absolutely. cast Heal. Yeah, so I'll, I'll do a medicine check, uh, okay. the first aid. Uh, do I get any bonuses or anything for munching bugs or circumstances? For bonuses? that whole thing, I'm going to count like both Ten Houser's realization, yours. I'll give you a plus three circumstance bonus. Bam. Yeah! <laughs> Time for the one. Here we go. So true. 1d1. 24. If Hokey, if Hokey aids me, I could probably crit. That that was the intent. But you have to roll a medicine check to, to aid oh, me. Oh, my. my yeah, so it's an actual thing. In Path for a Second Edition, you can aid somebody. And if you aid, if you succeed on the DC, then you get, you add a plus one to me. Like plus of one course. or two or something. So I'm going to roll the dice, but I would love to flavor it as Rahua will put his hands down towards Vali's wounds and just small little vines will start extending forth. Uh, if you've ever seen like one of those weird worms that have like, they feed with like this web of like tendrils, sort of like that little, little vines adding some kind of scaffolding for the healing plaster, just malleable enough to keep it on the wound itself. God, I love you, Hulky. Well, well three. When because I, because of that? course you you fail that roll terribly. It's okay. I have a hero point. Yeah, do it. Hero uh, quest. I hero keep, quest. I have to keep my ally alive. Make that three a one. Hell yeah! Here we set. go. Complicate. Complicate. No. 
18. Ah, an 18 is enough. That will crit succeed. I will give you the crit success nice. on the, uh, the Dim Valley. It's 48 on a crit, right? Yeah, yeah. Normally, um, you would need a 20, but because like you've you've role played really hard and you've given good examples here, and we've had a whole moment crit, absolutely. Okay, 48, Valley. You got healed. 48. 20 hit points return to your house. Um, Tannhauser, uh, you, he, you begin to hear coughing behind you. <laughs> As the electrified corpse to your southeast seems to still be clinging to the barest minimum of life. <clears throat> As the abaser knight looks up, the sort of electrical arcs from your prior spell casting dissipating. Their their mask obscuring their face, but you hear the coughing. <laughs> don't have even have, you don't even have the decency to die cleanly, do you? I failed. Oh, we failed. That is correct. And now, I am going to ask you for information. What is the nature of this ritual? What are they doing to the people in the ballroom? Um, my, my dear friend, Mr. Tannhauser, um, would you like to give me an intimidation check? I would love to, as I take out some of my climbing tools, including my fanged grappling hook. You, your death is impossible to avert, but you can either go peacefully or painfully. Which will it be, Kerr? And I'll, uh, like it. Lab talk, help. <laughs> yeah! Stands <laughs> menacingly. <laughs> Lab talk walks talk up to the like... side of the guy and does that bit. You know, like, where you interlock your fingers and you, like, press them to, like, crick him into position? He does yeah. that, but they all break. <laughs> <laughs> Golly. Yes, thank you, Glub. Thank you, Glub talk, for your help. Let's intimidate this bastard. Thank you, Grug. <laughs> and you rolled a natural one. <laughs> Please. Would you like to hero point that? Um... I would like nothing more <laughs> in the world. I, I feel dreadful. I'm, <laughs> I'm coughing. Um, There's a complication that's going to come out of this. This regardless, is but That's awesome. Sure. God damn you, Tenhauser. Scare him. 24. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> 19. Oh, on speaker. 24. Okay. Let's see. Oh, um... Jim, Jim, I'd like to offset this a little bit, but while this is happening, can Baldrick please be, like, searching the nice room for information in case he gives us Bunko? Absolutely. We will We will come back to this. <laughs> I know, uh, I just I'll don't go. want to accidentally initiate combat with, like, his ancestor's ghost or something. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use this one because it's dumb and fun, and that's the best kind of complication. Like, Oy. this Tyrant's Guild, like, agent locks eyes with you, Tannhauser. You've you've had this complication, and he he like has this like slight moment. His eyes sort of move side to side. He looks up at your your sort of glassy eyes and over at Glub Talk. It all it all changed when when the Hegemon came. The clown and the cod piece. Uh, uh, the, the, the one from the prince's palaster. Uh, the, the noble, the martinet changed. Uh, uh, you could, you could stop him, right? Perhaps I can. You, you're, you're with us, right? And like his hand comes up to grasp yours. I look, look down at this guy. Uh, Rest now, Abasa. Justice shall take the head. He changed her. And then he, like, looks over, and conveniently, because Mechanicus and Nept had a complication that reads wanted, uh, when attempting a uh, 
a skill check on an NPC, the NPC's eyes drift to a nearby Tyrant's Guild wanted poster of the PC or party in general. <laughs> so he's like, do this thing for me and save the Tyrant's Guild. His eyes look over to see a wanted picture of like you and Baldrick on the wall to the east. And he, he just like sees this poster, looks back at you. Oh, and then he dies again. Have thought he had gotten the hint. I should talk about the revolution more next time. <laughs> I don't think that's going to make him work any faster before he passes away. Maybe not. But it would clear up awkward misunderstandings like this. I said kicking him to make sure he's dead. Fantastic. <laughs> like, 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 not like hard, like Vader stomping on squamshy Obi Wan robes kicking. I have no idea what you said. Squanchy. You're gonna uh, give me a perception check to get Squanchy out of our heads, Baldrick. <laughs> this is what you get for watching Obi Wan. I didn't. I didn't. Then why would you bring it up? He watched that was Obi Wan. New Hope. He watched Obi Wan. Yeah, that was New Hope, Doug. That'll yeah, change you for not watching the Obi Wan movie. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you a 22. All right. So as you go through the area, you can see that there is a, a written journal on the, the the nightstand here by the sort of sofa chair. And alongside it is a key that is currently being used as a bookmark. Um, right. the, the, the book itself seems to detail ins and outs of prisoners uh, with the last three pages dedicated to outs of prisoners and then one entry of an in prisoner mm -hmm. um and and you look to like squint at the name but as you squint at the name of the sole prisoner remaining it's like a cue for that prisoner to speak up <laughs> And yeah, the, the, a little voice crying out like, Are you guys gonna let me the fuck out of here? Is everybody dead? Baldrick is trying to learn the name of this orphan wretch. Uh, Odo, name your terrible orphan wretch child. Ah, uh, god damn you. Fuck it, I'm the GM. I can pass this on sometimes. Uh, uh, the prisoner is named, um... Wait, um, we discussed this in the car, remember? What? Did we? Yeah, during some random car ride, we discussed <laughs> the name of this character. <laughs> someone, uh, hold on, uh, someone in set, someone in chat said, Ah, uh, yes, this is Girl. That, <laughs> that is the name we discussed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely, it's just Girl. Girl, okay. Uh, character <laughs> sheet is updated, Girl. Uh, the uh, character sheet is not updated with G Y R L L girl. <laughs> okay, okay. G Y R L. There we go. Good. Girl. Girl. Okay. <laughs> I will provide a new token. Girl of Rivia. With... That's just what I sound like when I'm talking to the Girlies. Yeah, the Girlies. <laughs> All right, the girl token is gone. The girl token is added. Done. <laughs> Terrific work. We love it. Just like yeah. sticking a hand out the out the bars and just like waving wildly. Although for comedic effect, are the bars how how close together are these bars? I am a child. <laughs> you want to roll me a d twenty to see if your girl gets stuck in the bars? <laughs> Absolutely, I do. Yeah, oh no! Accidentally, yeah, accidentally beating herself in the face with her own joke. <laughs> I mean, I am a child. Uh, you're, you're like, okay. So one sec. I think I can do this. Yeah, I can totally like position you halfway as you get stuck in the parts. As you like try to squirm your way out, girl, and then you are stuck. Oh, oh, the agony, the misery. Oh, oh no, madam. Uh, uh, uh. Clunk, clunk. Don't worry, child. I shall help you. Attacks. Yes. <laughs> it, it may take all of my efforts and all of my understanding to get this this child out of this this, this dangerous trap. Why are you in a tin can? It's all right, madam. I shall 
Uh, 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 fellow companions, you may wish to continue on your your journey in this facility. I shall shall escort this fair maiden out of her prison. Girl, uh, help! Godspeed, you dubiously competent bastard. I have this, don't worry. Sir Crunch would never leave one in need, but Sir Crunch knows that you must continue on. I will, hmm, yes, hmm, I will, these bars. Hey, I hey, don't want to hey, use my thing. hammer here. Yes, yes, sir. When, when you're done with comedy, small child, may I get information out of this paper that you had me read? <laughs> yeah, what information are you actually looking for out of this? My information that I'm looking for is, like, anything pertaining to out-processing of the prisoners in this case. I know this child was processed in, mm -hmm. identified as girl. Which yep, means that she's probably been selected for whatever the fuck these guys were planning on doing with regards to the walkway. I need to check, was there any other kind of out-processing listed for these prisoners? Essentially, what you get the impression of is that there was, like, a regular intake of prisoners that was coming in. You know, every few days they'd have someone come in. Then every few days they'd have someone who would exit through the north door. And that's the marking that was there. Um, and... When they exited through the north door, they were fine. Um, but then there was a exited let let out, as opposed to let out from the north door. And that seems to correspond to the day of the hunt. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That would that would line up with the, the idea that they turned a whole bunch of people loose and then proceeded to start their hunt. Exactly. But there are several references to exited via the north door. Um... So that's what I've got here. I've got, there's also a key, obviously, which has been used for that. I'm going to pocket that very briefly because I'm going over to the prison in a moment to take care of that fucking locked door. Uh, is there anything else in here? I see there's like some kind of fucking goblet here. Oh yeah, so there, there's like you know a little a little goblet on the table, uh, a bit of a drink. It looks like there's uh, bookshelves, uh, a bed that was utilized in here. The bookshelves are mostly replete with. Um, somewhat skewed legal lore documents as you're kind of perusing over them. Um, would there be a bottle available? There does not appear to be a bottle. <laughs> they wouldn't even give these guys the bottle for the wine. That's fucking funny. No. I presume I already know what the drink in the glass is. Yeah, it appears to be some kind of, like, al light alcoholic wine. Mm, terrific. So it's not what they usually drink. That's fantastic. No. These guys are these guys are not terribly well liked by the Tyrant's Guild. They're just kind of here. That's good. You can also tell though that the bed has not been touched in a while. Like at least, like it's it's freshly made, I should say. Mm hmm. So whoever was in here, the um, excoriaturge leader, was probably not the person who would normally dwell in this chamber. That makes sense. Probably like some kind of upper end torture or whatever high up. Uh, anything interesting in the bookshelves? It's just those legal lore documents. Um, can I can I skim through them to see if I can fill in any holes in my ownership of of legal documents? Sure. Okay, I'm gonna just he he picks through the the documents and now has a full set which he is going to probably read at home at some point to actually get fully immersed in the law, which will. Uh, by the way, that's, uh, I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna own you later with my understanding of law. I look forward to ten sessions from now, and you're like, ah, but Thurston, I purchased these, or I acquired Actually, these Jim, I think you will lawful find. documents. Yeah, absolutely. I think you will find. Also, what's the chalice made of? A uh, glass. All right, useless. Okay, so he's going. It was, it was like silver, or like like a metal. He would take and try to sell it. No, it doesn't appear to be. Uh, so there's nothing else on the shelves, but just books. Yeah, it, it seems like it was mostly like a, one of those four show libraries sort of thing. In fact, you can kind of see that thin layer of dust over everything. So I'll, I'll deal with that in a second. For now, he is going to go over to Crunch with the key, and he's going to very carefully sidle up. He's like, all right, stop being at the damn door. Uh, uh, well, I was attempting to help this this poor, impoverished maiden, you see. Um, yeah, I, perhaps we could, if we could leverage the, 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 the hammer, I could use it. Oh, a bit of a... You smell like chemicals. Yeah. You I got know. any alcohol? Uh, there's some in the chalice over there, but give me a moment. 
All right, you're kind of wedged in the door. If I open this, you're going to get caught in a pinch and crushed. So why don't you try to extricate yourself by doing... Baldrick places his, like, boot on her shoulder and pushes her back into the cell. Yeah, give me a give me a strength check, Baldrick. All right, you got it. Baldrick kicking kids. Baldrick <laughs> here in Rock Baldrick Rock. kicking child. How do I actually roll strength? Uh, you should just be able to click on the. Can you yeah, roll the child good. kicking skill? Just roll a d twenty plus one. Lashar, one d twenty plus one. Eh, not too good. This is it's a strong gate. Ah. Yeah, it's like, it, she's like really like lodged in there. Uh, the girl, you do you want to give me a d20 roll to weasel your way out? Oh, Christ. <laughs> I hope we're here for another half hour, just stuck in the bars. That's a 13. Okay. You like, go, like, like, Baldra comes to kick you, fails terribly, you're afraid of a second kick, you weasel your way out, the door unlocks. Also, I didn't say kick, place boot on shoulder push. Oh, you kicked me? You kicked me like a football? You kicked the girl it's like a football? Baldrick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm abusing her. Baldrick pulls out. I should escort, escort this fair maiden out of this facility. No wonder you're on every watch poster and outset. Why is your head shaped like that, though? I thought it was a circle. He pulls out a fucking <laughs> key and has had enough of this conversation already. Erndel hits the plot button. I, 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 do not worry, Madam Gyril. I will take you out of here. Please follow me. Yep. Yay. Tannhauser's just going to look down at Glove Talk. I tell you what, with rhetoric like oh, this. I, I also can't move myself lines. suddenly. There we go. Jesus. What was that, Tannhauser? I... Say that again. No, oh, okay. shit. Sorry. You, I was you say... were talking in. in... And uh, Arendelle spoke up one more time. Oh my god, yeah, yeah, no. Tanner's just watching all of us, looks down at Glub Talk real quick. You know, with rhetoric like this, he'll never win hearts and minds. Glub Talk, help. Bali, are you help. feeling okay? <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. Uh, as I have to rapidly switch voices. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm feeling at a. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 50, about a 22. Yeah, uh, if you can take care of the rest of it. Oh, but if you feel any creepy crawlies inside your room, don't worry, they'll die. Uh, <laughs> or, uh, <laughs> uh, you owe me. I mean, I already helped you not bleed to death, so I think we're you already put even. A, you put a tarantula <laughs> in my guts! Hey, the fangs help, you know, bind the wounds together. Oh, I think it's still moving. Ah, uh, it's, it's probably... It'll... Folly These becomes kinds of things work woman. themselves out. After all, you now owe us for keeping you alive. <sighs> but I'm yes. just glad you're okay. Oh, thank you, <laughs> I pat his little head. Or his big head. I was about to say, say his head is quite, <laughs> quite big and wooden. So, Thurston... With everyone so, dead. No. Yes. Well, we, I'm going to start picking over them for valuables or, like, information. Okay. Um, for the most part, their equipment is fairly straightforward. Um, you, what you're able to tell is that the, uh, the various abasers here are equipped with uh, chainmail, long swords, and steel shields. Um, the only... Equipment of note that you might see is that the um, Excoriaturge has a spell book as well as a um, plus, or is a, a, plus, a magical item that you can probably just tell is magical because I'm not going to make you fucking roll it all the time. But like, has a has a magical weapon that sort of like claw. Um, implement they utilized against you, which would be like a sickle equivalent. Interesting. Or knocked down a scoria turd before, but hey, works. No potions on them or anything? No potions. Fair enough. I didn't expect otherwise, just figured I'd check. Yeah, fair enough. But uh, I assume you'll like pocket the spellbook and the, the weapon, 
because they're. You know. He'll pocket the. Sp he'll keep the spellbook and the sickle together, and he will proceed to. Uh, so what? Can, what can I tell about this weapon? Would you say it's more like an agility-based weapon? Um. Yeah, it's like a fairly basic uh, weapon. So if we were to look up sickle. In terms of weapon, uh, it's a simple melee weapon, so anyone can basically use it. Um, it's like an agile finesse weapon, so it's dex based, but it only does like d4 slashing damage. Uh, you can use it to trip as well, uh, but it's got magic on it, so anyone who has like magical inclination could probably check it out more. Yep, that is precisely my thinking. Yes. Uh, Logic is going to, after picking over some of the corpses and finding basically nothing of value beyond like the armor and what, which I presume we already have like a decent amount of, right? No one's really hurting for like chainmail. I don't think so. Nah. Rahua, you're made Good of wood. Sell. You don't need chainmail. I have better. We, we could chain sell it, but <laughs> but th that kind of runs into the problem of like who's gonna carry all this crap. Who is the biggest and strongest? So he becomes the meal for a bit. And the dreamiest. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah all don't right. Give them any idea, Thurston. <laughs> He's a fucking tree. He'll take dreamy the, tree. He'll take as much chainmail as he can feasibly get within a reasonably quick time span. I'm presuming cool. we don't have all day to do this. Yeah, you're like taking off some equipment. I won't put it on you yet or anything. Like I'm assuming you're not encumbering yourself to do this. So. No, because I'm not going to encumber myself because encumbering myself would encumber Rahula, so. Very true. But yeah, Baldrick, you come over with the weapon spell book. Uh, the rest of the group is sort of like assembled around Volley. Uh, all of you can tell like Tannhauser's like got some scratches. Volley still looks pretty beat up. Um, Baldrick looks a little bit beat up. Uh, I'm gonna actually down a people's loot. Uh, which is stronger, minor or lesser? Um, so in this case, I believe it's the lesser. Bad, bad to like game worker person note because you know, um, the lesser, yeah, the lesser is the better. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna quaff a lesser healing potion then just to, to patch myself up to a save bit. it. I could probably just do first aid on everybody real quick. Oh, we yeah, are, we it, are splinted on easy. time, aren't we? You could, you could like have enough time to do first aid because you've got the healing plaster yeah. up too, still. So I'd let you, like, don't worry, you don't have to, like, oh shit, we're on like an immediate clock. I'll let like Orin do a um, medicine Here, check on Thanos this. or uh, Yeah. yeah that uh, just means Volley might need a potion. So yeah, I, include... I might have to do the potion. Yeah, so I don't include Rahua. Uh, Hulky, do you want to do a first aid on like Tannhauser and I'll do one of Aldrich? Uh, absolutely. Awesome. Cool. So we'll do that. I'll, I'll roll okay. mine real quick. Yep. Or... Fantastic. I love a two. We love to see a two. <laughs> got that? Do you, do you got a hero point? No. Oh, no one loves Zoran. Okay. Um, Rahua? I'll give you my medicine. Natural one hurts hurts ten house or more. Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't it be nice? Not twice. Oh, hey! Uh, hey! Very, uh, very, very, uh, that will be a crit success, uh, Critical just shit. with the, the situation. Nice, you critically su succeeded in healing Tannhauser. So, Tannhauser, uh, I'm just gonna put you back to 48, because... The least wounded. I... Hell yeah. Uh, Half-Life yeah. 1 <laughs> medical pit noise. Go ahead and, go ahead and drink your potions now, at this point, Arendelle, and then we'll, uh... Okay, so let's just split the lessers oh, between me and So, Holly. So, yeah, I was going to say really quick, and, like, this this is something that you you can decide as a group, but you should know. Um, the minor healing potions are D8 each. The lesser is 2D8 plus 5, but you only have two of the lesser, so you might want to save those for, like, a combat oh, you said that, you said the lesser was weaker. No, 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 it's, it's sorry, sorry, sorry. The minor. I, I, yeah, the minor is the... Okay, is the in that weaker. case, let's split... I don't think one is going to satiate Volley, so let's give well, Volley two. And how about three. how about you do them one at a time because I can just deduct them as you use them. All right. Yeah, if you want. I we've got two of the lessers, so if I take one now, we'll still have another for like emergencies. Because uh, okay. I don't think the minor is going to yeah. bring me. I mean, the most it could get oh, me is fair. up to thirty. 
So I will deduct one lesser, and uh, Volley, if you will roll me oh, you don't have to do that. 8 plus 5. Uh, what? If he clicks use, it automatically deducts it off his character sheet. Oh. Yeah, but it's in the party loot. That's the thing. Oh, he can just, just drag it on his thing, and then he can use it. Yeah. How about we just do the funny and there? Yeah. There yeah. we go. Look, you 19. get 19. All right, Excellent. so I will heal you that. Look at that. I healed the uh, five, so Baldur I'm going to need more than that. Five. Uh, uh, I'm going to quaff another one. Okay. Quaff another. You six six nice. back. Boop. And then I will mark you down that. Yeah, there you go. All right. Uh, real quick, what the hell was I at last time for alchemical stuff? I think I used... I think you had Two. three uses left, but each of the uses was like a double because of your advanced. It's it's like. a double if I take the time to make them a twenty four hour version as opposed to quick casting. That's right. So I think you just had the three left, right? I have three uses left, which means I can make six of something or I could make three quickly. Yeah. Do you want to prep in advance, knowing that you're maybe going into something treacherous? It's annoying. I'll tell you what, I will put together a tangle foot, which will give me two lesser tangle, tangle foot good. bags. Yep. Yeah. Is equipped. Born. Good. I will make two alchemist fire moderates. Uh, just to say, I will, you know, make two. Yeah. Uh, you want to do four total and then I'm just thinking. Have tangle foots and four? I'm thinking because I'll run out of combat ability very quickly if I don't. Unless uh, you want to do, like, acid. So, like, two acid, two fire, two tanglefoot. I'm thinking because thunder uh, smoke sticks are useful and we've used them all up, basically. Well, not, all, not all of us. You guys still have them. I just use them. Very true. Uh, screw it. I'll make two acids. Two moderate acid flasks. Good. So that's the rest of my alchemical stuff today. I will no longer be making anything. We're all just clustered around Baldric as he's doing this, just like watching uncomfortably close. Baldric is is multitasking. He's actually holding the sickle and the uh, the spell book up for Tannhauser. Hey. Yes. Pick this up from the uh, the mage over there, Scoriaturge. Ah. Figured you'd be more of a fan of the sickle than I am. Well, I usually prefer my sickles paired with hammers. Precisely spell my book. joke. Great. The spellbook, however, looks rather interesting. Yeah, uh, I'll take them more, both. Okay. Either be more useful. Um, oh, wait, there's another door over here. I'm going to list off spells in this spellbook, Tannhauser, as he's doing the alchemical stuff. And as, you know, Orin and Rahua are healing and Volley is basking in like the please treat my medical wounds. Also, I'm going to drink treat all of our potions. Um, uh, Tannhauser, <laughs> and you're like, also during this, like Rahua expertly heals you um, to save us all some time. Yeah. Um, I'm going to list off spells. Tell me if they appeal to you. Oh, God. Bind undead. That seems neat. Slow. That seems Vampiric neat. touch. That seems very neat. Acid arrow. That seems cute. Darkness. I like a little bit of darkness in my day. False life. Hmm. You know, I like that too. All right, we're gonna roll a lot of this later on, but like, basically, the the, the assumption is is that Tannhauser starts skimming is like, oh, oh, just, oh, just ripping off pages, oh. putting them in his little <laughs> red book. Yeah, we'll we'll do some checks uh, later on, maybe fair maybe enough, the session or something. But you're like you're like like flipping through the spellbook, like I like the cut of these uh, tyrant skills, Jib. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you want to give me actually while you're also doing this an arcane check? I will give you an arcane check. Arcane check. Arcana. The Arcana. secret. The secrets of the universe. Incredible Arcana. details. Power. All right, we got a five. <laughs> Are you happy with that roll? Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I, uh, oh, God. Yeah, sure, yeah. whatever. We'll, we'll use it. You have point. a hero. You have a hero yeah, quest. Yeah, you have a hero, hero quest. Point. A hero, hero quest. quest. Natural 20. 
Uh, the weapon, however, is way more interesting. It is a plus one striking excoriator. So it's essentially the equivalent of a plus one striking stickle, um, which means it is a like plus one to hit and like does double damage, so double damage dice on the attack. Uh, the weapon, I will quickly pull up here. Uh, there we go. Um, the weapon looks like the sort of like staff here. It's treated like a sickle in terms of a weapon, but like it looks like this sort of tri clawed, um, almost like gardening implement, but it's like magical. Uh, and yeah, so you can tell that this will be like a pretty like plus one to hit, uh, 2d4 weapon. So, oh, interesting. Is it finesse? Uh, the stats on this, because I am a cool person and totally have this up at all times, waiting for uh, Microsoft Word to do the Word thing, because it has the to find The Game Master is always prepared. Uh, the Game Master is always prepared. Um, it <laughs> is a agile and finesse weapon. So you get your dex bonus. And it's agile, which means uh, you only take a minus four if you do subsequent attacks. Let the power, let the tools of oppression become weapons of liberation. Do you want and that on your character sheet and like to start using it, perhaps? I would love both of those things. Okay, I will make those things happen. We'll Make see how smart past Thirsty was <laughs> in As terms a... of uh, putting equipment on. Oh, I. As you are um, smart, but I'll get that going. Okay. As you're as you're making that, mm -hmm. Orin's and as as Ten House is going through his book, Orin like looks up as Ten House is looking through it with with very innocent, corruptible eyes. He's like, "But Bucky got." Yes, I'm glad you asked. This is the Abyssus Torture Manual. It shows us all of their varying magical degrees of destruction and control. In our hands, it will become. A powerful weapon of freedom, liberty, and you know what I'm going to say. You're gonna revolution. torture people? No. For freedom? Well, but not yet. I mean, this guy died. But I said kicking it, the dead body. Is your revolution <laughs> not supposed to be helping so people don't get tortured? Yes. In our new society, there won't be no need for torture. But we must first torture these people to make our new society. Mr. Tannhauser. Yes. Why are you using things that you are currently that's currently being oppressing of you as an example to get to set a certain precedent to keep power when you are trying to eliminate that thing when you rely on that to create the power to make a new society? That's a very good question. It's because the mechanisms to create a new society can only be gained via engaging the dark arts of violence and the other tools of power. I.e., in order to disrupt a toxic system, we must disrupt it, oftentimes, with ends very similar to its own. However, given that our mission is far more just and our means are far more discerning, yes, I consider this a valid course of action. It is a sad truth of reality. Tenhauser, well, it seems like you're coping pretty hard for the fact that you just- I'm not coping! I'm not owned! I'm not owned! Lashes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna start running. <laughs> okay. hey, Tenhauser, I, make up a mean, I make up a mean hair regrowing settlement for all that molding you're doing. <laughs> this is incredibly anarchistic. <laughs> so it's not Tenhauser, and spray no, spray cans. No, those were it. anarchistic. I'm opening this door. It's empty. Thank uh, God. All right, can we go and kill the man in the codpiece? Real, real quick. I, I do want to just like make sure we've done everything we can here. Mm -hmm. Baldrick yeah. is checking every inch of this room for anything of note for information because it's a fucking torture chamber. There's gotta be information in here. Some idiot's gonna write it down and leave it somewhere. Out this door is presumably the the plank. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. Do you want to? Uh... Yeah. So you open it. Okay. So the opening leads to a. A section of stone that carries on for about 30 feet. Um, it leads out over the sinkhole. There is a like, slight 
wooden, f or sorry, no, wooden stone fence that leads along the way to a point where people would be dropped off. Okay. So when you hear the north door, you know that what they were doing was they were leading people out of the north door and dropping them into the sinkhole. So if I go out here real quick, I'm not going off the edge. Just... Yeah, like you can like take, I, I'm not going to like, haha, and then a saucer comes. Gust of wind. Me to death. Um, <laughs> but like gust, yes. yes. Um, but you're able to walk out and you're like, you get the sense of the wind. Like you look around, you can see. Um, but what's more like not horrifying to Baldric because Baldric is in your tour. Um, and in fact, I say that, so, like, if I ever make you make a fear check, Baldrick, remind me you, like, get a plus one bonus, because you're just like, nothing fucking surprises me anymore. You Fair look enough. up, and yep. you see, along this bridge, you see the sort of, like, lighting. The blue, the yellow, yeah, the, the purple, purple and the shit. red. That's because above you is a stained glass window that how looks down on this area. How far down? How far up? Um, about a floor up. So, height, give me feet. Like, I would say about 20 feet. Okay, so way higher than I can reasonably reach. Yeah, but what you're able to discern from this is that, and you know this building, you, you kind of had that, like, moment before where we did the Ocean's Eleven-style look, you know that the nobles who were partying on the main floor were probably looking down and watching people be walked off this thing. Also, by the way, I want to say to tell my partner did this map and it's fucked up. <laughs> like, this is some fucked up shit that people were doing. Of course. Um. Ah, this is annoying because I had an idea. Because they would be expecting Let's see if we can make it happen. They would be expecting us by the stairs. Would you say the stained glass is particularly reinforced? Do you have any kind of like engineer? You have craft, right? I have engineering. Actually, yeah, give me engineering and I'll I have you. engineering. Yeah, if you have engineering, give me a plus two circumstance because That's... it's, yeah. So I'm just rolling lore engineering? Uh, yeah, lore engineering, give yourself a plus two circumstance because it's really applicable here. Two, uh, roll. I'll give you sixteen. Happy with that? Will that will that succeed? It'll give you some information. I don't think I'm gonna do better, and I want to save this hero point. Fair enough. Um, you can tell that the glass is hyper reinforced. It would take dedicated attacks to break it. It would take someone affixing something to it, like a demolition charge, let's say. Or, like, a very powerful attack. Something like that. I'm asking because uh, we happen to have someone who has a grappling hook. Yeah, you're not going to get up from here. But what that's telling you is that, like, yes, this glass could theoretically break. Looking around, Thurston, would I be able to see any kind of trellises or embellishments leading down from this side of the building? Or is it totally flat? So this is the bottom of the building, by far. Uh, yes, but I mean, like, to... leading up to, the, like, the supports for that, because I'm assuming you can't have, like, an overhang like this with no support. There are supports. Um, with your engineering check, you'd know that, like, the supports are going to be beyond your ability to bring the whole building down. Not not for destruction purposes. Just yeah. need to know if there are supports. Yeah, there are. Um, but, like, they're, they're very thick. Like, it's clear that this was one of the areas where when the the sinkhole occurred about 150 years ago when the sinkhole happened um this would have been one of the more stable regions and they actually cut out around here reasonably speaking yes could we uh, climb the supports up to a closer level to this window um you could however in the sake of brevity for our session, I... you're going to also recognize from your memory that, like, it's just going to lead up to the main floor, which your party has already come from. I know. So unless there was, like, a battalion of Tyrant's Guard on the main floor that they didn't tell you about when they came here, you already have access to that in a less um, difficult means. 
Man, I wish I had access to coring charges. Oh well. <laughs> later. That'll be for later. It was worth a shot. Nothing here. Yeah, but you like you you know, like and honestly, like you can tell that this would be like a very difficult building to just collapse. Like you could blow the blow the supports, but it would still take a while for it to collapse. Baldrick is seeing through all this nonsense and he is officially no longer interested in trying to level this from this point forward, so we will just go about this the way the GM wants us to. As as wow. Baldrick as Baldrick comes back in, mm-hmm. um uh Hulky, if you want to have the scenario, can we have a scenario where we're trying to shove glove talk back <laughs> inside? Bad oh, that's talk. Guys, Three. <laughs> that doesn't even no, need to be a scenario, so Rahul will walk over to Glove Talk. I was waiting for this too. Glove Talk. Did you do a good job? Did you help everybody out, Glove Talk? Glove Talk help. Glove Talk help Tannhauser. Glove Talk help Child. Glove Talk help Crunch. Glove Talk help. Oh, he yes, knows our names. He's, Glove. His language is getting a lot better, that must be said. Why don't you put her there and Rahul will extend out his hand like a high five down to Glove Talk's level. Give me a diplomacy check. Absolutely. Diplomacy. Diplomacy. We're about to lose our baby. I love this society. Don't I- crush him. I love Duplo. <laughs> oh, I was almost eight. a twenty. Grab talk. High fives you. And I will cast pet cash in a blinding Grab flash. Grab talk. Don't want to go to the shadow realm. He'll go right back in. No, Grab talk disappears to the shadow realm. Thank God for that. Who taught him to say shadow realm? I, I don't didn't think he did. Say that. What's when the you... Shadow Realm? It's supposed to be nice in there. I'll be honest. When you all have not been looking, I've been teaching him about the revolution. Oh, not... damn it, Tanny. You're corrupting the youth. It's not corruption. <laughs> revolution is the hammer with which we use to crush the enemy. And if they say, uh, wield that hammer! <laughs> if you pay $20 an hour, uh, or sorry, $20 a month, Speaker D and I will do an audio drum of Glove Talk and Dan <laughs> 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 uh, a, a political stream. <laughs> easiest, easiest, easiest yeah. moment of my life. Glove Talk. Glove Talk, help! Easy, the easiest <laughs> moment of your life, hardest moment of mine. Yeah, exactly. You're like <laughs> fucking an hour of that. Me like. Glove talk, hinder. <laughs> Those are the two abilities that glove talk has, by the way. Glove talk help and glove talk hinder. That's it. We haven't seen him hinder anyone, have no, we? No, no. <laughs> I think once, maybe. <laughs> oh God. Talk. Anyways, uh, yeah. So, so you get um, glove talk back on the shadow realm. Baldrick, you've come in realizing that the GM hates fun uh, and doesn't want you to level the whole building. That wasn't even my attempt, you fucking goon. I was going to do something else, but you're like, no, you can't do anything. Well, well I'm like, what do you want? Like, you want to climb G- up? Yes, I asked you specifically, to- what did you want to do? You wanted to climb up to the area that you already have I wanted clear to climb up to the to. plate glass window and blow it open so we didn't have to walk through the guards. I mean, most of the guards... There are no guards, are- though. We killed all and of them. Killed Baldrick, them all. <laughs> all the guards are dead. We don't have to cut. Cl- Baldrick, get down. <laughs> Yes, he <laughs> assumes. Dead. He, he, he assumes there is always a there is always a second detail. Never assume there is never not a second detail. Always assume that there is something else here. We did the iron... second detail. We invaded the cellars and then what about the third them? one? What about the second breakfast? They're probably what inside, fourth, waiting to be detail? killed by us. We exactly. Just... It's we sir, we. Pass the stealth segment if nobody's alive to see us. I eat this yeah. pork chop on the table. <laughs> Delicious. This pork that, chop bonus. Sounds. that wasn't pork. Thurston, okay. do I receive a pork chop bonus? You no, know, only egg bonus, sir. Uh, I'm there are egg up there. I go. Oh, just starts walking I can't up. Tell. Do I, do I'm going to another hero point. I'd like to make a hero attack. Don't actually have one. I can't. <laughs> Narrative Don't worry. Hulky hey, Carlo has been t- kicked from the server. <laughs> 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 all right. So, what are you all doing now that you've like you've got this key? I assume you're having some time to converse, um, like Tannhauser Volley, or and you're able to describe the door on the second floor. Uh, you're able to explain that on the first floor there was some kind of gala with doors closed that you hadn't quite entered, but had heard something weird was going on. Where are you going now? All right. 
So there's that door on the second floor that is still very sus, but we couldn't find a key. Uh... Aldrich, you have a key. I do oh, have a Baldrick key. Oh, Aldrich has a key. I didn't just leave it in the prison door. I oh, presume okay. Baldrick, it. Probably there's a, a big spooky key. door upstairs that we couldn't unlock. Could you use your awesome newfound key to help us get through it to explore that... the rest of the stuff? I didn't know there was a locked door upstairs, so yeah, I'd be happy to do that. It's All right, let's go, everybody. Locked. Or in pitter patters up. Thurston, what are these eggs? What uh, are these? Those eggs are left those... by Jamie for you. What are they? Uh, plus one egg bonus. Fantastic. Everyone take an egg. All right. Oh, we all get the egg bonus now. Baldrick, are well, you Well, okay, pay? so I will. I haven't entered these in because I haven't entered all of the rock grind stuff yet, but. Uh, yes, if you all want, you can all take, and you can remind me of this, uh, you can take a, uh, this is from our new PDF, The Larders of Outset, which you can get on our Patreon. I swear I'm not oh, these fuckers can These fuckers can afford the exceptional variant. The, the Chirurgeon's Ovum, um, which is a, um, item you can spend one action to eat it and you get a plus one item bonus on your next attack roll perception check saving throw or skill check made within the next 10 minutes Shit. and if you are sickened um you may attempt a fortitude save as though retching without spending an action Ooh. orn and takes an egg and just and just crunches on it like no cool. anything just, and just yolk just you're not even gonna save it you're just eating yeah. it it's a uh, delicious. Yeah, immediately you get an egg bonus. Oh, also, um, it must be referred to as an egg bonus. I am um... uh, the special properties on this item. Her Erndil are the item bonus provided by this item must be referred to as an egg bonus, or the effect immediately expires. You hear that? Yep. Egg you bonus. Said in character. Egg you bonus is now canon in one of our PDFs. You're welcome. Is, is Tannhauser not liking this idea? Um, I think what Tannhauser is thinking is that Baldrick might be an occult, but in order to uh, maintain um, revolutionary unity, he'll unscrew the hose on his mask, there'll be a vacuum sound, and just the whole head just... <laughs> and then he'll put the hose back on. Egg power. Horrifying. Holy uh, shit. So where are you going uh, now? So you you enjoy I, your eggs that Baldrick I'm, I'm keeping my egg for a minute. I'm not are you going, going to the main floor or the top floor? We're going. Um, we were going to for that door. door that was locked, right? Yeah, top the floor. locked door. Yeah, to the okay. door. So, I am going. I, I preloaded this scene. We'll see it. No, I preloaded a long time ago. Okay, there we go. Uh, so you are on the main floor. There are the two locked doors. Spoiler alert: you have a key for them, so we'll unlock them should you choose to open. Yes, I do choose to open it with the door key. Okay. All right. I sensed incredible magic coming from the other end. We're likely in for one hell of a fight, so keep yourselves prepared. All right, prepared is my middle name. Does someone have Hello. King's Buff? King's Buff? Blessing of Might? Blessing of Might, yeah. <laughs> Get those raid buffs! Where the fuck is the shaman and what totems are you dropping? <laughs> we got, oh fuck, we already, we had our food bonus. We ate our raid food. We got your egg bonuses. Yeah. yeah, you can also eat it in combat for an action to get your- Or in turn on your tank stance. Okay. Where is Rahua? Rahua, go. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm applying my buff right now. It will take Fuck, a Fuck, you are the worst activate. priest. <laughs> <laughs> I Thurston, I cannot help. If you would like to wait for it to actually proc, I could wait, but it, it might wait longer than me. I'm sure it'll go off once uh, yeah. we get inside. No, no, I'm, I'm DPS. I'll be waiting a while if we don't go in. All right, so to set Who the scene, our, our, our intrepid band of chuckle fucks, or sorry, our destined band of chuckle fucks heads up the stairs to the main floor, carrying up the, the double curved stairway to the top floor of Delg Sandlin House. There are two doors. Our band has decided to take the rightmost door and opened it, to which I'm sure Erndil was about to say, we open the door and I see a fog Whoa. gate um, oh, no. in the in the passage. So as you open the door, you see this, this gate of fog in front of you, and this looks incredibly, incredibly similar 
to the fog gate that appeared on the door when you fought the drowned devoted in the temple underneath the sinkhole. Hold on, I gotta find a sight of grace. Give me a second. Shh, we've done enough for these jokes. Uh, are you like, are you like, like seriously, Volley? Are you like fucking? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. It's just, I just look directly at the camera. You're in the know, right? And then I have to forward. <laughs> hey, wait, hang on. Yeah. Hey, Thurston, <laughs> before we do that, I go over to this one and open it up. Yeah, do it up. Wow! It's also fun. There's also a fun. Uh, hey, Volley, roll me a d20. Why? <laughs> Because you're my favorite. That's a 20! <laughs> it's a 20. As you have that, like, allowed moment of I need a sight of grace, which, you know, makes no sense in the context of this world, but sure, um, you have this flash to that fountain you passed by in the corner. And that, like, body of water that just had some kind of similarity to the same body of water you encountered in the temple. Bolly just steeples her hands together and goes, Ah, shit. Yeah? What? You remember the fountain? Yes. Technically, Baldrick and Rahua never saw the fountain because they came from <laughs> underneath. Just, just trust us, there was a fountain. There's right. a fountain in the courtyard. That water looked eerily similar to what we encountered underground where Orin and I woke up. So, Baldrick I is guess going... if shit goes south, we'll wake up in a fountain. Not the first time I've woken up in a fountain. Let's not assume that will be the case, and just in case, Baldrick will retrieve from his, uh, from the party loot, the nebulous objective which we have, uh, the scroll of mossy weapon. Okay. Just gonna have that for a bit. Cool. Um... I'm gonna give a few moments here. First of all, like you see there's two doors, there's two quote unquote fog gates. Do you want all of you to be at one fog gate? Do you wanna split up? Mm. I feel like we should probably split up to start just in case we walk in and there's an immediate AOP attack. This is an FF14. <laughs> no, but it is also Pathfinder and shit like, you know, Fireball spells or whatever exist. Orin, come with me to the left hand side. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna pass the scroll on to Rahua so Rahua can cast spell because I can't cast spell. Yep. Okay. Baldric, let Vali go in in front of you. Yep. All right. Don't As worry, I'll point. protect you, Baldric. Yeah, it's appreciated. Mr. Tannhauser. I, yes. I want to. I, I want to do this like before. Uh, the I was gonna say going this is through. the time. If you want to buff for the raid boss, yeah, please go ahead. Uh, <laughs> I ain't got uh, nothing that can be used for this. I would Orin, like to cast uh, the spell. Oh, I'm gonna do a Orin, backflip. Or place his hand on uh, Tannhauser's <laughs> arm and, so, and go like, he's like, here, this will help you navigate in case there's multiple floors, and he will cast Spider Climb on nice. Tannhauser. Which basically oh. means um, you you practically have the ability of Spider-Man, of climbing around. So excellent. Yeah. So basically, you gain climb speed equal to your speed. So you basically just easily go up places, or if you want to get up a pillar and all that. Why, thank you, Orin. And for my own buffing, I'm going to activate shield. Um. And then I am going to also activate my own internal quantum singularity engine and okay. you and benefit from the laughing shadow arcane cascade. Okay. So I assume you're going to do the dramatic walk through the fog gates together. Yep. May I, uh, <laughs> may, may yes, I Rahua? Some... May yeah, may absolutely. I Rahua, please. What are you? Buffing please. By all... <laughs> Uh, first, am I allowed to, is that scroll that I was given, remind me, am I allowed to apply that to a, a party's weapon? How does that Okay, happen? so I will pull Reminder. this up if you want to. Now, now remember, like, asterisks, this is only applicable to, um, 
this is only applicable to like creatures that have the rot subtype, right? So Okay, so it's an offensive spell not. It's 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 an ability that like you might want to confirm if you're fighting something with it. Uh, I'm just posting it here. Um Apparently, I posted it as Rahua, but sure. Um, so this I is a spell. It lasts. It takes two actions to cast, and it lasts for a minute on a single weapon. So you can, like, put it on a weapon. So, for example, I wouldn't say cast it before you go in because you don't know what you're fighting yet or what, what threat is beyond there. I but see. you can... Um, cast it, like, during combat if you're like, oh, shit, this is a rotten foe. Uh, you could put it on, like, Tanhauser's weapon or Bali's weapon, uh, if it's appropriate. Uh, and that will... Anything that has weakness to moss, which is generally anything that's rotten, that will apply to it. You could cast it in advance and, like, burn the scroll and use it in advance. But it's kind of up to you if you want to take the risk if what you think you're fighting is wrong. Gotcha. So I will I will hold off on casting that immediately and we'll wait to see what is inside first. However, oh, yeah. I mm-hmm. do have one more thing I can actually do though. And yes. uh bro who is gonna essentially just stand still, take a power stance as he begins to glow with a radiant white light as you hear like this what sounds like a the din of chittering glass gradually like intensifying as white light manifests around his body with armor plates very geometric in nature and I'm going to cast manifest soulforge armament because I have spirit armor oh, okay. Oh, okay. I have hard light because he no. said it was okay no it is okay that's not what I'm laughing about I just open your character sheet and why is your gender slash pronoun like listed as he coming. <laughs> <laughs> why you are you about to see why. <laughs> you are about to witness the strength of tree knowledge. You're about to witness the world's strongest gender reveal. <laughs> All uh, right. There, uh, I mean, I've been calling him he the entire uh, yes, time. But yes, Soren, please save uh, me from he coming. The, the speaker, <laughs> uh, drag that spell effect shield when you cast build in the chat box. Drag that on your character so I actually give you the buff. Yeah. Boop. I think it gives you a little effect too, doesn't it? That when you cast it, does the effect. Just, uh, you'll see spell uh, effect, a little rectangle there. Just drag that onto your token. That'll give you shield. It'll update your AC and everything automatically. Oh, yeah. Here I got, I got you. Yeah, if you want Boop. to. There you go. There you go. I got it. All right, our intrepid, or sorry, our destined band of chuckle fox yes. enters the fog. And let's take our break here and we'll come back in oh. like just Yay. a few minutes. Yeah. Ah. Oh my God. Okay. We'll be right back, everybody. Don't we'll go right away. And, then, oh. No. Oh. and we're back. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Erndale oh. said I was deriving sexual pleasure from this upcoming encounter. Literally everything you do when it comes to inflicting pain on us, I cannot take any other way. Mm-hmm. I will, I will All push right. you. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm sorry. Before we continue, chat, do you know a good substitute to use in jerk chicken in place of scotch bonnet peppers? Please make a comment on it on this Twitch stream. All right, continue. Also, in the comments rice. below and on the mm-hmm. YouTube. Poison. Club talk. Club talk. Club talk. Club talk. talk. Club talk kill yeah. rule. <laughs> you got Club for us. All right, Zorin, because I wait for you to give me the lead in. Our destined band of chuckle fucks steps through the gates of fog, emerging into a wide chamber, and I mean particularly wide, somewhere in the area of 90 feet across as you enter. Uh, In this case, it is a 90 foot wide by 60. 55 feet long chamber supported by several pillars of marble. It is the same sort of style that the rest of the chamber is in. In the center of this uh, this immense room is about a 20 foot radius 
circle of stained glass of multicolored hues, reds, blues, yellows, uh, embellished with the the mark of the the pantheon of the first house. The area around this circle is splashed by blood. Blood that goes on in some cases in patches as long as 20 feet, um, as wide as 40 feet. Corpses laying strewn about the area, their bodies eviscerated, bludgeoned, brutalized. And at the far end of the chamber, some 60 feet away from you, stands an armored figure, a a, a higher-ranking member of the Tyrant's Guild. Their arms are somewhat placed behind their back, uh, a wide flowing white cape, and a slightly smaller skirt of white uh, goes underneath them, stained with blood. And yes, there is no map, everyone. Um, And as this figure looks at you, their arms are behind their backs, the mask staring out at you. Crown of spikes and rubies. Of you, uh, Baldric and Tannhauser, can you please give me a society checks? Would love nothing more. Of course. Society! I'm gonna rock my nanite surge on this one. Hey. Alright, now that. Oh, holy shit. My now God. that I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna hero quest for. I will also hero quest. Okay, so for uh, reference, uh, they rolled a one and uh, a two. Ball so rolled wait, wait, a one, wait. Tan has rolled wait, a two. Please hold on. Uh, uh, yes. Before you roll your hero point, uh, speaker. Yes. About one of us rolls, and if that fails, then you can go. Have it be me, because I spent my nanite surge on it, which I can only do once a session. Okay. So I will have a higher dice pool than you, overall. Sure, go ahead. That's better. Hey, 28. Or 29. And with, a, with a 29, I will allow both of you to, to recognize, but Tannhauser, you immediately snap to the attention that this is Martinet Cardoza, the leading member of the Tyrant's Guild in this portion of the Pons Palaster by the sinkhole, the utmost lady lord of Deg Sandman House. Her cape is stained with red, her arms kind of placed behind her back, and she looks up the, the like, silver mask only giving you the sense of her eyes twitching beneath. Ah! You have entered. Tanet Cardoza, I've been waiting a long time to kill you. I see you, Tannhauser. I see you, Baldric. I see you, Vali. I see you, Ruhua. I see you, Orin. You have not seen the light as I have seen, but you will. What madness are you talking about? Even your abases are disgusted with you. I have been revealed. I have been shown, and behind her, I should point out, the the wall behind her is this slightly curved glass that looks out over the sinkhole, like some kind of macabre view of this gash in the the makeup of outset. And she strides, again, her arms behind her back in front of this pillar. I am not mad. I have been enlightened. Then enlighten us as to your newfound wisdom. I can see it's made you no better of a ruler. I am no ruler. I am simply one who shall show you the way. And you look around at this and see the corpses on the ground, the stains of blood. Um... Baldric, you've had more in direct interactions with this NPC um, through their their like legislative actions. Tannhauser's a bit newer to this district. 
This is entirely out of character for this person. I don't give a good goddamn what you think you are. I don't care what you think you're doing. I don't care what you hope to do. I came here to kill Martin at Cardoza, and guess what? You happen to be here. Then... You shall try to defeat me. As I and her, like, mask peers between all five of you, starting with Oren and going to Vali down the line. And I shall fight you. And I shall fight you. And at that exact moment, her hands move behind her back, and her cloak and skirt bristle slightly as they do so. With my guns! Uh, if I can get all of you to roll initiative. You got it, dog. Absolutely. Great, she has guns. She does have guns. She has a pair of, like, pistols. I'm assuming I'm not doing stealth for this. Um, no, this would be perception. Sure, whatever. All oh, that nat one on the initiative, baby. Let's go! Let's go! Uh, 21, that's not terrible. All right. Holy shit, 37. Yeah, she rolled a 19 and gets a 37. The say the initiative order for, for audio folks. Yeah. Uh, Volley got a nine, Baldrick got a 21, Orin also got a 21, but I think my dex is higher. Yeah. Um, Rahua got a 25, Tannhauser got a 26, and the Marionette got a 37. So at this point, the Gregorian chanting begins. Each of you, like, notice from your peripheral eyesight behind you that the, the, the door you entered from is now covered in a similar um, foggy gate, which you remember from um, your, your passage earlier. The Martinet moves. She moves to here. With a single action, she seems to glide like almost light bounces on the ground. And then she looks at you, Tannhauser, who has called her out in such a despicable manner. And she raises both of her pistols at once. And she fires. There he is. Blast him. <laughs> I get a feeling I'm going to be laughing so hard in a moment. Uh, oh! Hit you with a 22. She is utilizing her ability paired shot, which allows her to fire both of her attacks. Um, so she makes two attacks, basically using um, one attack roll. And if she hits, she combines her damage. So essentially, she's going to crit you um, just by spending two actions. Um, bop, 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 bop. So she's going to crit you. She's going to do 35 points of damage to you. Terrific. Nice. To Baldrick? Uh, yes, Baldrick. Oh, I thought you were shooting at me. No, no, she shoots Baldrick. Oh, I'm having a stroke. Uh, I heard, I heard she... Jen Hauser as well. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry. My apologies. I, I meant Baldrick. Um, she glides over to Baldrick, shoots Baldrick, and then glides back. And that is her go. Tannhauser, you are. All right. This is gonna and you can see that these two like bullets have impacted uh, Baldrick, sending him staggering um, from a very visceral <laughs> shot. Right then. Uh, I'm going to begin sprinting forward at my enhanced speeds. Mm -hmm. um, since I have Laughing Shadow activated, I believe I have a, I need to check if it's a plus five or a plus 10 speed up. Um, uh, I can find out for you real quick. Yeah. Laughing Shadow. Yeah, plus five foot bonus. So that yeah. should uh, bring me to 35, which should be right here. I can't move for some reason. Um... Oh, oh, it's because I was doing the measurement too long. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> so one move to get closer. That's right. And then for the next move. Mm -hmm. I can sense your agility will give us quite a few problems. Allow me to liberate you of it. 
and I am going to activate an Arcana Cascade that will begin to slow the molecules in her body with a casting of Tanglefoot. Okay. Uh, what is the DC I have to here? Well, it's an attack. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, ooh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, yeah, make your attack on her. Let's give it a so shot. Target her and let's see what happens. That's going to be a 23. So it'll be a success, so she'll take a minus 10 um, speed penalty. I need to ask, will that stack with a Tanglefoot bag or have I just wasted my time? I think it will actually stack. So. Okay, that may, that's good then. Yeah. Uh, and that, I believe, is your go 10 hazard? Yes. So you come up. Uh, describe your Tanglefoot, because she, like, both you and her are standing on this, uh, s like, second level stained glass um, fresco in the, in the floor here. So, like, how do you tang, like, is it like vines break out of the glass? Is the glass kind of breaks out and begins mm -hmm. to grab her? Nothing nearly so flashy, but perhaps something certainly more tanhauser -y. The internal visor that governs over one of his various um, uh, essentially points in which his magic can emanate from his internal singularity engine opens wide and it begins flashing this blue color and this beam will just project over her and like a static will kind of start to surround her. It's a little bit like the static that surrounds Tannhauser when he activates his lapping shadow. Ooh, except like. for this time, his mo her molecules, her ability to move is actively being slowed down by some kind of force of dark physics. Perfect. All right, that is the end of your go. I believe if you can end your turn, Tannhauser, that brings us to Rahua. Rahua, you've seen your ally charge forth uh, onto the blood slick stained glass here. What are you doing, my friend? Rahua? Okay. Okay. I muted myself. I was talking the whole time. Rahua, <gasps> don't you? Are mortally wounded. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to heal Baldric before I move up and assist Tanhout. Oh, fair. Okay, so are you going to spend like a two action to heal him to get the bonus or? Yes, I will spend two actions. Okay, so cast a heal spell if you want to drop that in chat just so Pete can see. Yeah, they even updated the heal one in Foundry so it'll even have a dedicated button for you now, so. Nice. I lied. Oh, did I? <laughs> That's I, 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 fine. My other, on my other ones, it has it, so it's weird. But yeah, Dirty just, rotten uh, poop, boy. 1d8 plus 8. Yeah, so 1d8 plus 8. If you want to roll that for me, dog. Nice. I will, uh... God, what is it? I have to click, like, alt and click? Is that it? Uh, sh shift click on heal. Shift click. Okay. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just add this. the extra. There. Uh, yeah, so you manage to, like, heal Baldric um, with your anarchic energies, Rua, if you want to describe how that healing looks and then move yourself with your last action or whatever other action you should do. So, given that Rahua's Soulforged armor is up at this point, his spells get flavored a little bit differently now because this just ethereal, I guess just energy beyond space and time is just surging through him. So he puts his hand on Tannhauser's shoulder as you see the various bits of damage just get leached out of him as if they're being sucked into holes in reality itself, as if the damage never really happened. It isn't perfect, but it's just correcting this errant mistake in the universe that he has deemed did not need to occur in the first place. Fair enough. You mean Baljic, I think it's a did I say Tannhauser? Oh my god. Everyone's saying, everyone doesn't exist. Uh, everybody <laughs> wants to hail Tannhauser or kill him. <laughs> now, after Baldrick is healed up, uh, or who is going to be in charging towards Tannhauser? He's going to full movement. So you move up, clanking onto the, uh, the, the plate glass here of the stained image. And my turn. All right, Oren, you've seen your allies move up. You've seen Baldrick is healed, but Baldrick still looks fairly wounded. What are you going to do, my friend? Uh, Oren is going to rush up to 15 feet this way. Okay. You got little little bird feet going, and then he is yep. going to cast the Protector Tree. 
Hopefully oh. not burning this time. He's gonna go. Hold. Oh. It's like it's like it's like rules of nature. Go bam, and then like a tree comes in through all the metal bars throughout the stained glass floor of Death Rod, and a tree pops up right beside Tannhauser over to his right there. Or actually, uh, I'm gonna have it um the like top right there? of him. Oh, or like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Let me. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so you'll know, just walk him real quick. You'll know, rules of nature, and the tree just comes up like da 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 da, and uh, it'll just kind of get in between both of them. So if anyone gets in melee range with this person, and or I'm gonna, just kind of in general and around it, they'll get protected. I'm gonna I'm gonna take artistic liberty here. I'm going to say that the tree is actually a stained glass representation of a tree. Like, yeah. it comes out, oh, it's a tree glass. that's made of stained glass. Of yeah, all the I'm different colors of the rainbow. Yeah, just like, is this like 3D growth that comes out of the glass underneath you? All right, that is the all end right. of Oren's turn. Baldric, my man. Um, real quick, I'm going to take the last... Uh, lesser healing potion. Okay, so if she hits me again. I'm going down, so I need to make sure that doesn't happen. Two d eight uh, plus five, wasn't it? Five, yeah. I shall remove the last one. Oh shit! There you there go. There you go. Nineteen. Uh, so I will mark that on you as healing. Uh, Baldric is being a little more uh, animated than he usually is. Uh, he is actively, like, sticking his finger into the wound and digging out the bullet as he quaffs, so that way yeah. it is just not impeded. Two bullets. Is, you were hit by he, two bullets. He can only get one, really, right now, because the other Fair one enough. is still there from a the little nibbit of health. But he is he is a lot more active and animated, and he is he is primed and ready. He he wants to take care of this, and he wants to be done with this garbage. At least at least as far as Cardoza is confirmed. Mm -hmm. So, let's see here. Uh, let me move up. How far do I move? I go... Probably 25. Uh, it's five less because of my armor. Yes, yeah, So 20. So I'll go there. About there. Uh, and I will draw and throw a Tanglefoot bag that should be in range. Yes. Hey. Because of feet. Do it up. Okay, targeting. I want to pin her down. I want to stop her from moving. If, even if that means she like blows more shooting us, that's a little that's preferable. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Actions. Draw and throw. Strike. Can Baldrick hit you with the tangle from back? No, uh, not with the two. Ten. Critical miss. A critical uh, miss. You have a hero point, Baldrick. Uh, nope. No, no, no. Saving that. Okay, so your Tanglefoot bag goes wide um, as she she seems to, like, even though she has been slowed by the Tanglefoot spell of Tannhauser, she's still very, very agile. Um, yeah. All right, if you want to end your turn, Baldrick, and that brings yeah. us, I believe, to I'm, our I'm last. I was just thinking about what I need to do. For sure. Ali! Oh, no. That's me! Yes! Uh, all right, I'm going to, all right, so my speed is 30 right now and I don't have panache. Um, so 30 will get me here. Um, my tumble through is not enough to, actually, it's tumble through up to your movement, correct? Uh, so you are wanting to acrobatics, correct? So you're yeah. wanting to, um, Yeah, I can tumble through. It looks like this angle will uh, let me move a second 30 feet. Stride up to your speed. So if you succeed, yes. If I succeed. Um, however, however, remember, the enemy's square is still counted as difficult terrain. Oh, it is counted as difficult terrain. That's so the one problem. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't. Well, I can make it here. Yeah, so you could, like, just tumble that way. Um, oh yeah, but just, I wouldn't go through just, her. Yeah. But you would jump. You would still generate panache, right? Yeah. Like, Remember, you can always tumble. tumble forward and then back. Yeah. So like, so you, you can, can basically move to there. You won't get the flank because there's no one flanking. But regardless, yeah. you'll still be able to like 
basically you'll be able to move in, make an acrobatics check. Yeah, the the reason to tumble through would be to get her flat footed, but that's hmm. probably not gonna happen. Well, so the yeah, the tree gonna... does not flank with her. Sadly. Yes, unfortunately. Um, oh, why am I stunned? If I duct tape oh, um, a knife to the tree, will it be done? I mean, if you, knife if too. like, like, yeah, sure. If you go up and spend the action and make an narrative declaration, <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just uh make cool. my acrobatics. Do it. Uh, 17. All right. So that tumble through is opposed by the enemy's reflex DC. So let's huh. see how this Wait, fast. Would that be a tumble through if I'm not going through her space? Um, I guess not. Because you're just is just make a DC. What? 15 acrobatics, right? Yeah. If yeah. Not, yeah. So you're good. Yeah. yeah you get that. Yeah. She's Fuck not yeah. going to be flat footed, but yeah, say love you. Yeah, uh, you can still do the finisher. Absolutely. Target yeah. her and make the attack, my friend. All righty, let's get All our right. ass. Yeah, yeah that'll, that'll work. It's a 27. You'll hit. Give me a straight up damage. All right, damage. OK, I've got finisher checked. That should go through. Yeah. Very good. The first, the first strike on Cardo's at 16 points as you tumble uh, through the, the glass. Like Cardo's is clearly um, taking note of Tannhauser, the tree, the the entangling effects, the bomb from Baldrick. Uh, you manage to like dive through and take a stab and do a do a good amount of damage. All right, give me the guns, lady, and nobody gets hurt. <laughs> no, no, All we're right. hurting her. All right. Um, is that your is that your is that your statement, my friend, my volley? <laughs> That's my go. No, I mean okay. those are your last uh, words. Oh I think God! You now she's gonna give you the guns. <laughs> she's not. She just hands them um, over. Yeah. All right. So if you want to end your turn, volley. Yep. So I am currently. Um, I'm currently, this will be my last round. So she is minus 10 feet. So I believe she can only move to here, which she will, as she rushes away from you, Folly. Okay. You stab her and rather than like turning to face you, which you would assume, she runs away and you hear in this haughty, voice, this absolutely arrogant tone, this Huh? I shall show you the light and the barrels of my guns! And she like, dashes forward heading south away from you, Bali, and actually kind of like, slides on her knees without going prone and standing up and in a move that could only be described as Reaper-esque <laughs> from um, from Overwatch, she oh, begins fuck, to shoot fire, and she unleashes a torrent with her pistols, targeting everyone within fifteen feet of her. That's awesome, except yeah. Bali. <laughs> so I will start with Baldrick. None of these are affected by her multiple attack penalty. By the way, so she gets a single shot off at each of you. God, that is funny. Bali is now out of range. Um, I have yeah, a free staff. She does, uh, but she only gets a single shot, so she will start with Tannhauser. Or sorry, with Baldrick, because we keep mixing up Baldrick <laughs> in session for reasons. It's um, all right. She will hit you. takes off his helmet. Tannhauser's beneath. Yeah. Um. Okay, so she will hit you, Baldrick, for nine points. Oh, sorry. Shit. Uh, she will hit you for nine points. Now, as she does this, she's firing so fast, you can see the barrels of her pistol are glowing hot. So she actually does an additional D6 points of fire damage with this shot. So only one, so she's only going to do 10 points to you, Baldrick. So as she fires, this uh, this pistol hits you, and she does 10 points to you. Rahua, she strikes at you next. Again, not taking up her multiple attack penalty here. She's, you know, basically broken, an AOE bullet. She's a broken boss encounter. Um, 
she <laughs> critically misses. But you know what? You know what, fam? Hey, uh, Zorin, can you mark me down a villain point? There you go. Look. Oh, I forgot about those. Thank you. Um, I'm going to read. Oh, oh, so she still misses Yuru. Uh, but she will complicate on that, so I will get to that. Um, so then she goes to Aura. Uh, we'll hit you, Ow. Orin, just by one. Yeah. Um, so this will do. Wow, I rolled minimum damage. Six points of damage to you, Orin. <laughs> Shot past his shoulder. Yeah, and it's like, again, these flaming bullets. She's firing so fast in every direction. And then her final shot is on Tannhauser. Yep. She will hit Tannhauser. Indeed. She will do 13 points of damage to you. <laughs> As you are struck by this flaming bullet. Now. Shoot the tree. Tooth. Oh, okay. Yeah. Actually, yeah, gotta, um, sorry, the yeah. tree. So, you're hit yeah, by the, a strike. The tree interposes, because I'll do this first. Um, the tree interposes from there. The tree does interpose. Um, you, you mean to tell you how it works again? or? Yeah, I, I've got it up here. So, it has AC 10 and 10 hit points. So, I think that just kills the tree. Yeah, it kills and the ten, tree. 10 hazard take three. Yeah, so, okay. So, I will heal you, 10 hazard. Then I will do three points of damage to you, Tanazer, and then I will kill the tree. Not the tree! The tree is dead. The the like stained glass tree is dead. <laughs> as 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 it get shot, the tree will look at you, Tanhauser, and go, I love you! <laughs> Why do we give this tree emotions? Because Zorin finds it funny to destroy cute things. Isn't that right, Zorin the bear? Yes. <laughs> So as all of this happens, um, there is like this, yeah, this, this repeated volley of shots. Now, there is also a complication. Um, Look out, Mr. President. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So uh, I'm going to use the Wrath of Uncle Blaze by Portal Jumper Rights. Thank you for this complication. She is going to take persistent fire damage as a result of this. Uh, I'll set this all up in a sec, but basically, she, like, as she's firing, she actually sets ablaze herself. Um, and so this is going to be a little bit of persistent fire damage, which I will roll at the end of her turn to see if it goes away. She'll still take it, but whatever. It will go away, but she will still take uh, the same fire damage that she would do on her thing, which is one. So she takes a point of fire damage from that complication as she is firing so much that um, she actually catches on fire briefly before it goes out. Now... Before the end of her round, I want you to know the area around her, as you can see on the map, within 15 feet of her, is now supercharged. The particulates in the air seem to be, like, combusting as she's firing so much. Tannhauser, you're up. Interesting. Uh, so does that mean that it is likely to be uh, a hazard for us? Tannhauser, you're up. I see. Hold on, before he takes his turn, I hate to steal your thunder here for like one second. Absolutely, go for it. Yeah, please. So because she missed me, that trigger is reflecting spirit on my Soulforged armor. Ooh, so tell me what that does if you want to link it, my friend. Abs let's see if it allows me to. I don't think I can because it's this big fucking block of text. Let's find out. Oh, God. Yeah, you just know, press the icon. If you just want to tell me, you can tell me too. It might make it easier. So yeah. If an enemy's physical ranged attack misses you, you can use your reaction to immediately attempt a ranged strike against the attacker using the projectile that missed. Ooh, hell yeah! So, because she missed me, Rahua has this moment of, like, Matrix-ass slow down time watching the bullet whiz by him. Re looking at her dead in whatever, the eye holes of her mask, puts his one arm back, you see just this, like, as the bullet just disappears, and he holds out his other arm towards her as the bullet reappears in front of him from his hand and launches towards her. Fuck, yes, my man. Okay, I want to check this because I'm like, 
I have questions about this ability. It's cool. Sure. I just have questions. Um, it's, a, it's a physical ranged attack, so do you consider the bullets physical? Oh, they, they're they definitely physical. Um, so which what was this under? This was Reflecting Spear, right? Yes, it's under um, Manifest Soul Fire Germ. It's just under the feet itself. Gotcha. Okay. Um... So you make a range. So roll me a d20, and sure. we'll see if this is going to matter. Oh, fuck. 18 on the die. Okay. So 18 on the die. Rahua, my broski. Um, you have a plus. You're going to hit. So I'll just do the damage of her weapon on her. Uh, just give me a sec here. You redirect the bullet to her and do her 10 points of damage, all Matrix style. Whoop! All right. As you take the bullet around. Now, again, the air here is entirely supercharged. You're staying right. Um, and then it comes to Tannhauser. You're you're up, my friend. Okay. Um, I have a question. Sure. Um, if I were to use Burning Hands right now, yes, would I potentially be dissolving any of the supercharged air? Um, um not. Not quite. Um, it's like swirling around. The only thing that might remove it would be like a wind effect. Okay. Well, in that case... This would be, this would be for all of those of you who are listening, the one time where gust of wind is useful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was useful last time. I may have died at the end, but I got Correct. it. Correct. Yeah, exactly, right? Uh, but no, like you'd burn up a section of it, be but because it's swirling, you could tell like now you could like cast like you could cast um, Burning Tush and then like back out. You're at the very periphery of this. Yeah, that's not really worth it. So instead, I'm going to be ballsy. Um, and I'm I just have like to... a bet with Jamie. I'm like, speaker will have two options when I use this ability. He will be like, fuck that, I don't want to see what Thirsty is going to do with some AoE attack. Or I'm going to run right in and be like, hey, Thirsty, what you got with this AoE attack? I, I Listen, man, old habits pie hard. Um, I'm going to dimensionally one jump. One sec, one sec, whoa, 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 time out, time out, time out. Did you just say old habits pie hard? I did. Zorn, give Tannhauser a hero point. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking deserves it. <laughs> you now have one. Carry I on. Thank <laughs> you, Thurston. All right. Uh, I'm going to Dimensional Assault teleport in front of this ridiculous oaf um, and brave the firestorm. Does anything bad happen to me? Does not. All right, then in a scintillating glow of quantum energy, I'm just going to proudly proclaim, they've tried before. Fire doesn't burn me. And I am going to make a sickening strike, a spell strike with my yeah. excorciator. Excorciator. That's what I said, yeah. Excorciator. The exfoliator. The exfoliator. You will hit. Excellent. Let's roll some damage. So that's four plus one. Okay, so I will. So five on the start. And then the spell. Uh, all engines on alert. All different nozzles rise from Tannhauser as he becomes this glowing, electrified battery before all at once it releases along his weapon and channels in to a shocking grasp. And I will roll my damage now. Last. For 26 damage. Yeah. Was that... Uh, yeah, because you get plus one, because you're casting this as a... As a second... For, I'm casting this... I'm upcasting it. Okay. Uh, so it is a second level spell. 
So on a hit, you do 12. Why are you doing three? I'm just checking why you're doing three. Uh, Because uh, I upcast it, and so it adds, it goes from having 2d12 damage to having three. So you're casting this as a third level spell? No, it's a first level spell. On a hit, target takes 2d12. Yeah, so it should be 2d12, shouldn't it? No, it's 2d12 by default, and then you upcast it, so it gets an additional 1d12, and that will happen for each oh, level. Oh, is it a second level? Oh, is it a first level spell? Okay, yeah, 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 ignore, yeah, yeah. Me. ignore me. I see, no worries. I see why I scum. Yeah, yeah, electricity crackles over her body. And I believe she'd also be taking some persistent electricity. Yes, I'm dragging that onto her. Like your order will. She will. Uh, the the crackling cool. electricity goes on her now. And uh, I believe it's Rahua. All Rahua. So Rahua will target the Martinet because my screen got minimized. I didn't tell it to be minimized, so I'm going to scold it after this turn. And looking at the Martinet, now burning as a result of her own actions, he will hold his hand out to her and just utter with a noticeable metallic tinge to his voice, different than his normal candor, and just speak. Fall. And I will cast Bone Shaker. Ooh, do it up. What do I have to make for that? Ooh, a fortitude save. It's a DC 19 fortitude save. Get fucked. <laughs> I mean, I will roll a critical success. Damn. GM. 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 There is so much combat happening. I have no idea where it starts and where it shall end, but all I like, know is there will be death. You cast Bone Shaker, and like as the electricity's arcing over, Tan House just come close. The head turns towards you, and Rahua, you see these eyes staring through the death, the the, the, the death mask of the Martinet Cardoza, and they stare into your singular monocle orb thing, and then turn back to Tannhauser because. Pathetic. That's about all I got. <laughs> uh, you still have a move, right? Yeah, I'm actually. Do you want to move out of the area of like combustibleness? Let me just make sure. Or do you want to move to flank, or? I will move to flank. In fact. Okay. I'm getting ready for the fucking AOE I decided to stand on. Cool. Okay. If you want to end your turn, Ruhu. Mm-hmm. Tan hat, or sorry, Orin, you're up. Okay, Orin is going to... to make sure my Her with your death ray. Orin is going to back it up. And say, in pretty much, yeah, oh, the humanity! As he claps his hands in a thunder tempest storm begins to swirl around her. Lightning and a giant gust of wind swirls around her, which I'm hoping to convince you that's a good amount of wind to dissipate the thing. I will dare to declare if I need to. <laughs> uh, it is not. Bullshit! I'll never declare it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Break the rules. All right, all right. You want to declare? So let's follow a swirling storm of violet winds. That's fair. Are you narratively declaring you want to dissipate it with? Yes. Cool. I will spend a villain point to like disregard that bullshit. Mark me down too. That's right. I can use them for that. Um. Me add my stuff here. <laughs> but I have to make a reflex save for her, right? Yes. I will do so. I will ignore your damage. All right, nothing happens then. End of my turn. Uh, that was that. I had two villain points, so I should be at one, right? Nope, used one previously. Didn't you I start you, with you three? You, no, you asked me to mark down two. That's exactly what you said. Oh no, 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 no. okay, okay. okay. So, right. so you would have zero if you said you wanted to use two to do that. 
No, nah, I was gonna say I was gonna mark one for one. Get but... three. Yeah, yeah, yeah I oh, should have down left. two. Yeah, I thought no. I had two left. Oh well. All good. No, you had two left. Okay. You said you wanted to use two. Here, how about this? I'll just leave you with one, and that'll be enough. Yeah, because I negate yours with my one and be like, no, no, um, because the air is still <laughs> supercharged. Uh, but that brings us to Baldrick, who I'm sure will like end my fun anyway. Yeah, sure thing, dude. Anyway, I cast uh, I cast Alchemist Fire Moderate. It's Actually, I had spell. a question. How much am I looking at here? There's some stuff left. Uh, if I can I use my alchemical crossbow as a crossbow? To deliver a, like a bomb? Just like a just like a bolt. Cause it ha I have bolts I can fire from this thing. Yeah, I'd allow it. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna save and just shoot. Okay. Drawn in crossbow. Loading crossbow. One action, load, and fire. Firing crossbow. Last. Ooh, that'll hit. Give me damage. Hit him with a dinner blaster. Oh my god. Blast on me. Aw, oh, you're a dick. No. It's, it's, it's skirted not. on that seven. What a waste. Uh, you have this, like, perfect shot lined up, and then you fire, and it goes... Dook! Fucking stupid dice. Whatever. Hits the right. side of the armor, the electrified armor of Martinet Cardoza. If you want to end your turn, Baldrick. Yeah, 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 I'm on it. Rex is not doing anything. Volley, my friend. Okay. Uh, well, let's actually see here. Wait. Uh, before, huh? before, before this, Baldrick, you could have moved. You're currently. No, I needed to no, use he everything. Drew... Oh, oh no, never fire. mind. Never mind. Uh... Okay. Well, okay. How funny. Uh, well, I'm going to, uh, I'll once more do a tumble 30 feet. Okay. Uh, rolling politics uh, to see if I don't fall on my, or uh, acrobatics rather. If I don't fall on my face. Fifteen. Is that those, for Nash? those bracelets of dashing, though. Uh, oh. I think I think that's just enough. One sec. Let us refer to the advanced player's guide. Oh, advanced. Advanced. I don't know if I'm powerful enough for that. Advanced. Um. So, in. Ah, uh, in this case, you would have to. Uh, this is the trick. You'd actually, to benefit from it, you'd have to actually move through their square. So, oh, uh, I don't would think be, I could yeah, with would my be, movement. Yeah. I was, I was about to say, which would be opposed by there. So you do not get panache. Like, Martinet Cardoza is a very agile lady. Yes. Okay, yes, indeed. Uh, all right. That is fine. That's my first action. Mm -hmm. And I... Don't okay. Hold on. Let me double check the wording on faint. Okay, that is an action, a full action to faint. Yes. So you could like move, faint, attack. Yeah. Uh, but I need to get out of this uh goop. Uh, oh, fair. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a normal attack. Uh, no panache. Okay. Uh. Oh, a ah. uh, three, so a 14 total. Ooh. You miss, my friend. That's not worth hero pointing. I don't have a finisher. I'm going You're gonna to pull uh, the fuck out. Yep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bail. So All the right. problem is, is we have her like sticking around for another round. I was really hoping my crossbow wouldn't just like do fucking one. So... I'm, not, I'm not gonna argue for you wasting a hero point. I just. Uh, <laughs> We're gonna get. I, I, gonna I don't think I can kill her. Is the thing with just a normal strike. Is that the end of Holly? That will unfortunately be. This is the end of Holly. The it's end of Holly! She just dies. She explodes. No. Yeah. Okay. So, um, at the beginning of uh, Martinet Cardoza's turn, the air explodes. So. Oh, gosh. 
I'm going to see if clicking this works. We'll see. I don't know if it'll work. Uh, okay. Um, I think maybe Speaker and Baldrick, you can click on that DC 22 reflex button. Maybe. Use brand. I clicked Wait. it. No. That uh, didn't work. Okay. Uh, both of you just basically Baldrick and... Um, Baldrick and uh, Tenhouse oh, reflex. reflex saves at the beginning of her turn as the air explodes. Yes. At the beginning of... Wait, what? At basically, at the beginning of Martinet Carzo's turn. The okay, so just explodes. roll it now. Roll a reflex save. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a free effect at the beginning of her turn. All right, I got a 22. 27. Okay, so both of you succeed. So both of you will take half damage. So for Tannhauser, you will take half of this, and Baldrick, you will take half. Um, so Tannhauser. Rounding up. Like 10. Oh, I've got it. And... Okay. Uh, so with that all said and done, uh, the Martinet will go. Mm. You are being very smart children. Because um, uh, from where she is, she can only hit a couple of you. So she is going to move to there. I think she's going to do that. Yeah. Uh, she's going to move to here, where she will do the same thing. She will, she's like, not in a grid. glide. What was that? She's not in a grid. You put her, like, in between grids. Oh, no. Oh, no. You she's on a her. Yeah, she, she's good. Um, she glides along and begins to fire again. And you hear again her haughty voice. I shall bring all of you down into the light so that you may see. And she begins firing again in the air. Uh, she will start with Tannhauser. As her guns go wild once again. Boringus. Let's see then. That's a one. Yes! Uh, mark my last villain point down. I can't let Speaker win. I have a question. Yes. You can negate our hero points. Can I negate your villain point? Um, um I was like, oh, I've opened the door for that. Fuck you, Speaker. Yeah, yeah sure, we didn't. Sure. We didn't really speak about it. So it yeah, really sure. Good. You wanna? You wanna? You wanna? You wanna one for one me, dog? Yeah, absolutely. And I'm okay, just cool. Gonna... There you go. Now, yeah. now, now it's all an economy. We fucked it all up no, forever. Fine. fine, I love it. This is why we got to make things up on the fly. I'm shooting Baldrick. Bang, I hit Baldrick. Uh, thanks. Still not terribly bad. Rolling like moderately shitty damage. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm not really being able to tell that you're rolling shitty damage, I'm being honest with you. Shoot volley. I like that. Oh, one shy of a crit, too. Well, fine. Okay. Um, I'll do 10 more points to volley. And maybe, just maybe, I can end our favorite tree boy. Hardly, but go ahead. Oh, I, I will saw crit. It. Oh, fuck. I will crit him. Who? Oh, that's actually a good roll. I'll do 42 uh, points of damage to our tree boy. Yeah, I'm down. Virgil, you jinxed it. <laughs> no, he's he not down. Jinx it. You're so, fine. Look. Oh, no, I lied. I'm fine. You have a so ton of health. To describe I forgot I have 54 health. Like, subtly glides away from Tannhauser and continues to fire the barrage ceaseless as she, like, like, light, 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 as she fires and fires and fires, hitting Baldrick, hitting Volley, and just smashing Rahua in the eye. And you can hear, I have seen the light that once ruled this city and shall one day rule again! Um, as she unloads, and again, the air around her is entirely supercharged. And you that, have a complication, my friend. I do have a complication on our dear friend, Mr. Tim. So, let's find out. Uh, as I'm trying to, like, make sure I don't double up. Ooh. 
trying to find one that's you could you could just have a double up it would be the most sensible one in this situation i'm just no no, no no i just want to make sure i'm uh hmm. that one is not appropriate because it would actually fuck you guys over more and i don't want to do that um Oh, God. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck this. We're doing it. We're doing it. This is from Wonko the Wise, everybody. Wonko. It's called The Violence Escalates. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a citizen of Outset sees the violent combat taking place and is enthralled, <laughs> grabs the nearest object that can be used as a weapon, and joins the fray. <laughs> I'm gonna add a civilian to this combat. Uh, Me, a civilian. Second. You're gonna get a civilian friend here. Oh my god. Oh um, my god. Like, oh, yeah, it's happening. All right. Um, no, the mouse guy. I'm just gonna use Grandma Sweet, who comes in with a chair. No. <laughs> no! You leave Grandma out of this. <laughs> it's not actually Grandma Sweet. It's just like oh, a okay, citizen then. who comes in. You're taking down the tyrant skilled. I'm with you with a chair. <laughs> you hear the you hear the command and conquer general's promotion noise. <laughs> <laughs> Cooperator yes. Lucky Solo her has joined. I'm gonna Let me so I'm her. with you. Okay, here I'm gonna make I'm gonna make speaker insufferable. The revolution! Yeah. And runs in. <laughs> Fucking Christ! The fire rises. Like, speaker grows to an immense size and goes. Yeah. My my head is now uh, six inches larger than it was at the start of the session. Thank you. I have uh, dealt my three points of persistent electrical damage, and am passing things over to Tanhauser. Please Chat, knock her out I first. I need phase. villain points. Come on now. Okay. <laughs> Tanhauser. Tanhauser sees his opportunity, rushes in. You think your star is in ascent? Then fine. Burn to embers like the stars! And I'm going to bring forth my weapon, make a crunching attack upwards. I'm gonna make the spell strike, ladies and germs. Do it up. Do it up, Tanhazer. So let's, let's see what happens. Yeah. 24. You hit. Do it. Do it. End phase one, please. Eight damage. Would you like to do the spell damage? I would love to do the spell damage. Cool. And I am going to just, she thinks that fire is her master? Absolutely not. Fire belongs to the people. And it will rise with the revolution. And I'm gonna get some produce flame damage. Nice, okay. The nine dots of that. All right. I'm just going to put this wall of text here. Oh, uh, no. As you do so, she immediately teleports. Um, which causes her uh, flaming um, bullshit to end. Um, but it does explode in the air. I did have a note for that. So that's cool. Um, can you give me a reflex save? Because the well, actually, uh, Baldrick and Tannhauser give me reflex saves. You got it. Uh, again. Mm-hmm. 24. Okay, Tannhauser, you will succeed. Baldrick. Uh, 21. You will fail. So, Tannhauser, you will take uh, six points of fire damage. Baldrick, you will take 14 points of fire damage. That will knock you out. <laughs> Fucking great. I didn't get, even get a chance to deal with that. Nope. Uh, you will go Ugh. to Dying Uno. Um, as this happens, as you strike her, she, like, teleports. Like, there's a flash. And she teleports to the center of this, this stained glass mural in the floor. 
and she floats above the ground and you can see between her armor it begins to glow and to glow and to glow and the, the explosion around her goes out and immediately the glass in the center of the floor shatters as it entirely breaks apart. Um, and I'm going to hope this works. As the glass breaks and um, Baldrick, you're going to fall down into the next floor. That's cool. Tanhauser, you are going to take an additional 10 points of bludgeoning damage unless you have something like Feather Fall. Um, um, I got a grappling hook. Uh, but you don't have an action, so... Um, <laughs> and the rest of the party is up there as... We go down to the main floor as the glass floor breaks. And, um... We're gonna, we're gonna quickly go down to the main floor. I'm gonna figure this out one sec here, because there's some, some multiple, multiple floor stuff. Wait, I do have spider climb. Does that help? Uh, you want to know what? Give me an acrobatics check, my friend. Alrighty then. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll allow this. Very kind. I'm going to put some people in place. 25. Okay, I'm going to allow you to take no damage, but like basically flump down to the ground. Uh, yeah, in just a, like running on shards of glass. Yeah, yeah. Now, again, the the floor here is pretty um, pretty glassy, I won't lie. Um, as in, like, there's shards of glass, and you can tell that these shards of glass probably act as caltrops. Um, you know, for reasons. Okay, so that's gonna happen. She's gonna end up there. Uh, and then Baldrick's gonna fall down as a lifeless corpse but I won't have him take any more damage. Sorry, I'm jumping between scenes a lot just to make sure that I've got people lined up. Okay. So, um, you say lifeless corpse. Am I dead or am you're I... You're not dead. You're dying. Wild. Okay, thank you. I needed you to clarify yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and as she falls down, Tannhauser, you're the only one to see this. You fall into the main floor. And as you do, you land in this gala room full of people with these brilliant eyes who all turn towards uh, the Martinet, whose skin is now incandescent and burning. And as this happens, all of them combust. Their corpses littering the ground in ashes. Oh. And as they do this, their screams yell, and suddenly the pillars in this room begin to radiate with light, shining around, wisps of which connect to the now shining martinet that stands, floats in the room, any flesh gone, instead replaced by a brilliant, absolute light. Mm. Good luck. And uh, that's the end of your turn, uh, my, my, my dude Tanhauser. If you would like to um, end that. Uh, I can't because there's no active. I on. know. This is really weird because like, <laughs> doing it over multiple scenes is really awkward. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move some people over and I'm going to make this kind of work. Uh, we have Tannhauser, we have Volley, who's technically up. We have We already Orange. have our tokens at the bottom right of the map there. I I do, but I also just need to yeah, make sure that I've got all of you and I've gotta have the right people. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure I've got you in relatively the right positions. Okay, actually got these two links. Okay. Um so I'm just gonna do that. Boop boop. Uh and then I'm gonna give you like twenty feet up. Uh, and 20 feet up and then I will uh, put all of you into combat and uh, I'm just gonna roll all of this but then I'm just gonna update it so whatever ignore all these rolls I'm doing cause I'm just gonna update them anyway 
because uh, I'm gonna just update them based on whatever we got here. So, okay. Uh, bu- Okay, cool. Uh, okay. Um, so I believe that's going to bring us to Rahua. You, Rahua, you have seen this now. Um, you have seen the Martinet has smashed the glass in the center of this, uh, this area. And at this point, you can peer down and see the Tannhauser and Baldrick's corpse are on the, the main level. What are you doing, my friend? How many feet down are Baldrick and It is a 20-foot tw- jump, which means unless you have some kind of way of, like, repelling, grappling, whatever, downing, um, you're going to take 10 points of bludgeoning damage from a fall. That is okay, because I will not jump down immediately then. Okay. So, Rahua will look down and see this horrific turn of events. This does not look good. Baldrick! And will hold out his hands towards Baldrick, and just a surge of blinding white energy will flow into him as he casts Stabilize. Ooh, okay. What's the range on Stabilize? It is 30 feet, but I also have reached that. Oh, hell yeah. So you're going to, like, stabilize your friend with this. Is that the uh, the general plan? That is the intent. Yeah, sure. I, uh, I'm a, I'm a this as I'm still, like, updating those initiatives. Uh, bah, okay. And then I go to combat, and then that has happened. Tannhauser has technically gone for who. Okay, so yeah, you stabilize. Uh, Baldrick, so you, Baldrick, you are no longer dying, but you are, however, unconscious. <laughs> All right. Um, at least until, like, such point as we uh, figure out some stuff. So you're no longer dying, however, you are unconscious. And... Okay, cool. Uh, and that is, because Reach Spell is a two action, right, Rahua? Well, it's a base of 30 feet, so I don't think I necessarily need to use Reach Spell on this one. If he's 30 feet down, I should be able to reach. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair, fair enough. Oh, it's base, yeah, base 30 feet. Yeah, it's feet. base 30 feet. Okay, so you cast, and then are you going to, like, jump down, or? Uh, I am going to actually, I'm like, I don't want to use that. I probably should, just by virtue of tanking. I'm going to use a Healing Potion Miner. Okay, yeah, take take the healing potion, roll a d8, and we'll heal yourself. Fuck. Ah, oh, that's a bad healing potion. That that store owner. Yeah, your your rolls have been a little bit iffy, Thurston, but ours have I would say been a little bad. I'm okay with this. Uh, all right, Rahu, if you want to end your turn and bring it over to Oren. I've been debating how to go there because I can get down safely. Because you're you're technically up twenty feet and you're looking yeah. down and you see her. Uh, also, I suppose I should do this because I forgot. Um, anyone who isn't Baldrick, I need you to make me a. And I'm just double checking. I need you to make me a fortitude save. So anyone who's in Baldrick, so Vali, Rahua, or an Intanhauser, give me a... Uh, would, you, would you consider this versus diseases, poisons, or radiation? No. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, you said Vali is or is not? Vali is. Okay. Because it's, it's 120 feet. Whoa. 28. I like how Wait, all the rolls is. Orin 27, Ooh. Tan 29, Rahua 20, or 28, then 29, Rahua, and then Vali didn't get 30. Oh. She got 12. Vali, are you happy with that result? Uh, not exceptionally so, no. Would you like uh, to her point it? I'm gonna her point it. Roll, her, re-roll the her point and uh, Zorn, please. Yeah. That'll that'll still be a fail, but yeah. you know that's okay. Okay, um, so the DC on this is twenty four. Um, if you succeed, you're good. If you are, if you fail, like Volley did, you are dazzled, Volley. Um, and so if you 
um, critically failed, you would have been blinded. So that's uh. good. Uh, dazzled basically uh, means you uh, all opponents have a like five percent mischance, or sorry, uh, a DC five uh, flat mischance from you. So like one through four, you miss them. Oh. Um, as you're like, you got sparkles in your eyes because she blows out incandescently before she falls. All right, that brings us back to Orin. Orin, what do you want to do? I'm going to do a reach spell ability, which takes one action, and I'm then mm -hmm. going to cast a two action heal on Baldrick. Sure. Do that. Eight. There you go. 13 total to Baldrick. Medicine. So that is the end of Orin's turn. Go on. I got you! you. Alright, Baldrick, you are back to consciousness. You are, are currently prone. Oh, I'd like to uh, get up. Yeah, so uh, this brings us to you. What do you want to do, Baldrick? Uh, well, since I didn't get flashed by the blast, I'm, I can see. And again, I want to point out there are like the pillars in this room, which now are like siphoning light into her. You see all of this. Yeah, I know. I know now, now that I'm awake, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I'll just remove prone for now. And kidding. Not even remotely close. I'll, I'll just fucking move up to it, I guess. And that'll be my turn. Okay, so you get up and then move away. Yep, I'm moving. If it'll let me. If it'll let yep. me. Here we go. Yep. And you see that around the pillar is this, like, luminous script that you can't read. No, I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to blow it up when I can do anything again. So, okay. end of turn. If you'd like to end your turn. Yep. Vali. I muted myself. Okay, um... All right, so you. I'm dazzled. Ooh, yes. let me actually double check because I think I might have a fun thing I can do. Ooh, a fun thing. I like a fun, fun thing that you homebrewed. <laughs> um, I'd like to hit her with from above. Uh, stride twice or attempt to make an acrobatic such a tumble through or maneuver in flight. You can make a single melee strike. Uh, okay, so if I stride twice, I mean, I can't, th this is like a hole. Um, could I make it to her if I like leapt over? Oh, absolutely. Okay. You're wanting to use that like stride twice? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll use like, the Like, I'm assuming twice. you kind of want to like land, oh, let's see here, like, heel? Yeah. Totally. Uh, and I'm going to, to plunging attack her. Do it up. This is Dark Souls after all. Um, Absolutely. All right. You got to get that fucking asylum demon with that plunging attack. Otherwise. Exactly. Oh. Um, so how would I go about doing that? Is it just acrobatics to jump and maneuver? Um, all right. So let's take a look at what you got with this ability. Yes. They pull uh, up your feet here. Uh, so your sky pirate dedication, you get the from above. Uh, either stride twice or attempt an acrobatics check to tumble through. You stride twice, that's fine. Um, blah, 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 one additional. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you basically just make a melee attack. Okay. So yeah. I'm not going to be able to get Panache out of this, is what I'm hearing. Uh, you could. Uh, but you, if you want to, you would like dive through her square, so you'd have to make the acrobatic check. Your options are not get panache and get the extra damage dice, or get panache and the extra damage dice, but have to make a check that you could possibly fail with no hero points. You know, let's get, uh, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, I say right check <laughs> versus opposed by her <laughs> reflex DC. Chat, please give me your energy. They gotta give you a lot of a lot of dollar points for that. The no! ASL 18. So you do not get panache, my friend. You fail. You bump in front of her. Oh, Sag. 
All right, well, I'm just As you, like, try to tumble through, and instead she backhands you with one of her pistol daggers, and you kind of stumble. You can still take an attack, though. Biscuit. All right, yeah, no biscuit for me. No biscuit. No uh, so biscuit. no extra damage from the plunging attack. Um, in this case, I will let you have the bonus from the plunging attack. All right, thank you. You're a so kind... just make a regular attack, and we'll roll the extra. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, if you hit, eh. because you know, which you it misses on a twenty-three. Yeah, her AC is better now because she's shiny. Oh, oh she's shiny. <laughs> She's shiny. Oh, she's you were hitting form. So yeah, like this is phase two, fuckos. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to describe how Volley reacts to this series of events for us? <laughs> yeah, Volley is just going to take a running leap from the second floor and kind of eyes still uh, filled with light now, kind of now like burning and like black spots are starting to cover her eyes, brings the rapier down and tries to plunge it onto her head, but kind of goes just wide and stumbles backwards, kind of falling back into Tannhauser. Ah, yourself. Ah, ah, oh, my eyes. That's my turn. Da, 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 da. Uh. <laughs> All right, that's, um... Where's the civilian? Uh, the civilian will will be like, don't worry, I haven't forgot about you, and we'll jump down in. Thank you, thank you, Hulky, for reminding me. She's gonna you. jump down in and immediately die because she has less than 20 hit points. <laughs> God damn it, speaker, way to take my thunder. <laughs> <laughs> Your next, the next thing you're going to say is she jumps in and dies of fall damage. She jumps in and dies of fall damage. Gets a complication only to immediately undo it. Wow, Erndel. Wow. Come on, Am I wrong? You know, a, a, a real GM would have given her a jetpack. Here, a real GM would have filled her with no, no, no. A real no, GM would have filled her with explosives. Okay. A real GM would have just let her have a nuke. down closer to and take the chair attack. Does she succeed the conceal roll? She does. Does she hit? You know, I'll make her like a ridiculous civilian because you know what? It's a chair. Motherfucker. No, she misses. Okay. <laughs> so she comes down with the chair and then misses. Oh, me with the Terrific steel work. chair. Okay, you oh. know what? No, no. Hostile GM, fuck you. I'm going to move to here Give to flank me. with Vali with the chair. As the civilian comes down with the chair, now flanking, gets the plus two, hits. And... Show me that juicy D2 damage. Oh. Does five points yeah! damage. Yeah! We did it! We love you, Grandma, Granny Sweet. I hope, I hope the before Grandma gets the, the final, the final blow. Before, before the fall damage executes that NPC. Are you happy now, Erndil? Was that a sufficient complication to take, make me take five points of damage? Yeah, because okay. she would have done that anyway and then died. Good, excellent. Um, I don't mean I'm to going brave, to... but I think we passed the DPS check. I'm going to go with the, the, the shining mark. She falls and like explodes into glass because there's a lot of broken glass. Yeah, sure. Um, Such I'm, as going, life I'm going to... Uh, oh, oh, first of all, at the start of her round, all that damage that the civilian with the chair did seems to heal as the light coming from the pillar seems to rejuvenate the shining martinet. Terrific. And then she sh raises one of her pistols, and it appears as though she no longer has a requirement from, uh, for bullets. As when she fires a blinding light comes out from her pistol. Uh, and this line attack. This line piece, um, as this, like, brilliant light blasts out 
from her pistol. And um, can I get a volley and Tannhauser to make me a reflex save, please? Absolutely, you can. Uh, no, no, I think I just passed it. Oh, yeah. that's that's cool. Okay, I, I don't need that. <laughs> sure. Uh, Eighteen. Okay. okay. Ooh, oh, Thirty. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, Va Lee, my friend, you will succeed. Tanhauser, you will fail. A loss. Unless you want to spend that hero point, Tanhauser. I have a hero point? What does that have? One hero point if you want to spend it now. <laughs> my god, I- I'd like to thank the fans. I'd like to thank my mom. Uh, roll one. Roll my dad. Roll one. Ah, twenty three. So fucking close to that one. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Volley is going to take half of this, and Tanos is going to take half of this. So Volley, you are going to take seven points. Tanhauser, you are going to take eight points. That was her first action, and then her second action is to just fire her fucking pistol at Volley. Ow, ooh, owie. Um, and this. Thurston has paused the game, funny man. I have paused the game. Be- pray I do not pause it again. Pray, pray uh, I do not pause it further. Um, and then I shall attack you with the pistol. I will hit you for Ooh. 24. So oh, damn it. Then she, one out of nimble dodge. I know. And then she will do six points uh, more to as she fires up close at you. So she fires this luminous ray and then a like secondary blast just hits you and causes you to stagger back. Bitch! The light shall illuminate all! Uh, Tannhauser, you're up. Compelling argument. However, I'm inside your own. Um, also, you, are... you notice that the ground around you is still uh, fairly luminous. I see. How interesting. All right. The calculus that I was about to run would not mm-hmm. function without a hero. No way no. now is that there. So instead, I'm going to do something a little wacky. Actually, uh, ignore that move. Because <laughs> I just realized I that retreat. <laughs> I, I, I leave. I give up. Uh, yeah, fuck, fuck this, Thirsty. You're wait, there's no fog wall down here. here. We can leave. I, I gotta, I gotta see if the Tyrant's Guild is hiring. Excuse me. Yeah. There's um, no fog wall. We can leave. <laughs> True. Let's see. I don't have very many killer moves right now, but we know that these things are somehow healing her. Um, yes. I'm gonna make a Hail Mary real quick, and here's the plan. I'm gonna use my last focus point okay. to teleport to here and i'm going to spend my last second level spell slot Mm -hmm. on a little spell called burning hands cool what you gonna burn i'm going to ah shit i can't oh no no not that way (laughs) you can can go to the measurement tool and move it around yeah Um, i I assume are you wanting to like burn this pillar I was hoping that i could get more than one because i thought it was longer than it was no it's 15 feet so yeah, it is very dinky. So in that case, ignore that. I uh, mean, you can still do it, and we might learn something. Would you... Oh, God, chat, chat. I regret saying this, but if you give speaker your energy... Um, but, like, really, uh, you can't quite do it without, like, a narrative declaration or anything. So... Well, that's okay, because okay. I have something else I can do. Okay. I'm going to cast Electrical Arc to target both of these, okay. because that does have a range of 30 feet and can okay. multi do it up. So let's, I guess they have these static objects have to make a save. Do they critically fail? Uh, they do not critically fail. They will just fail normally. Now, if you want to roll me some Dimaggio. Okie dokie. It's going to be nine damage. Do you want to roll me again? Nine damage again. Cool. Uh, you can see that the script on this pillar and this pillar is almost negligible. Like, they... sorry, sorry. I should say, I should say, the damage on those pillars is 
so much that there's like very little left. Like you can only see tiny bits of the script, but it's still filling her up. Right. Like, like if you had to gauge it on a scale of one to ten, you scored a nine out of a ten on damage. That's awesome to hear. Um, I I just wanted you to know that, my friend. On call, GM. Mr. Yes. Thurston Hillman himself, might I? Yes. My favorite GM in the world, by the way, oh, who's never wow. hostile, and he's so kind to me. Mm. I you want you to know this stat block has been written for like two months. You fuckface. Carry on. Would you? Would you perhaps say? Would you not agree that it might be reasonable that the persistent electric damage and fire damage from the finishing move might remain on our dearest Martinette in her new boss phase? No, that there's no. A specific. There's a specific boss rule for that, so get wrecked. Well, just so you know, I was being really insincere. I end my turn. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you, speaker. Very good. Uh, who's next? Uh, we have a Rahua. Who's next? Barry sixty three, of course. Yep. Good old Barry. Oh, I don't know if I should. Going oh shit, there. chat is very oh. chat, chat is very right. You could have just applied the egg bonus. Could I retroactively apply that egg bonus? To see at least on one of the pillars to see what the hell these things do. Cause you love it me so much. Seems that she's healing less as you egg bonus one of the pillars. Oh, lovely. Thank oh. you. Chat power <laughs> of the egg bonus. <laughs> I am a hostile GM. Rahua, please. <laughs> Prove that I'm a hostile GM. Rahua hostile. So, I am gonna... Uh, I'm, I would like to... Wait, actually, do I have an egg? Was that added to my inventory? Did we all get eggs? If, if you, you didn't have eat, eggs. If you didn't eat it immediately, like everyone did for some it. reason. Yeah, you've got it. Yeah, Rahua, have you been holding on to that egg the whole time? Of course I have. Do you just smash that egg into your face, like orb, not face, orb, face orb, face orb, orb? Yes, he will quaff the egg bo to do obtain the egg bonus. Good. Remember, you bonus. must continue to refer to it as such, or it dissipates. Or it dissipates. Yep. That's an important so, thing. All right. I am going to attempt to get down. I was assuming you've assuming now that I'm down there on the floor, right, ten damage. Um, so you're gonna hop down, so you're gonna like take the damage, right? Yes, I don't believe I have anything that can necessarily stop that. Okay, you are like on like life's end as you hop down. Are you moving in this? Oh uh, yes, I'm getting the fuck out of there. So, my friend, Hulky Crow. I'm buying some time because uh -huh. you know what this glass kind of counts as because you weren't teleporting like a fucking manic megas. I am you want to guess? Well, you can't. <laughs> seriously, ser seriously, seriously, speaker. I said um, I, I am very. Manic. OK, 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 good, good, good. Um, do you want to give me an acrobatics check, Hulkster? I would love to give you an acrobatics check, Thurston. Please, Thurston. please, please roll me that acrobatics check. I, I adore acrobatics checks. Oh no, the tree is suffering from Caltrops. Oh, he fate. is. <laughs> Thank you, Erndel, for being the GM in the group who's like, I see what this fucker is doing. Fourteen. Caltrops, colon. These four-pronged metal spikes can cause damage to a creature's feet. You can scatter caltrops in an empty square adjacent to you with an interact deck. The first creature that moves into the square must succeed a DC 14 acrobatics check. Hulky's okay. What do you do? Oh, uh, I fucking oh. leave because I'm just barely alive. I'm going to just run back here. Oh, that wasn't the right thing I needed to do. I'm just going to run back here and get away from what's going on. So move, hop, move. What are you doing with your last action? Oh, 
I thought I had to continue, continue moving. To consume the egg bonus, but no, I will continue moving. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess you you did consume egg bonus, so yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Hide behind a chair. End your turn, Hokey. Hostile terrain. Or in the bear. Martin kind of blows. Am I um from where Warren's position is, is he able to lean over or uh kind of like dip down over the edge and see the other pillars near him? Yeah, so you could see all the right hand side pillars from where you are. But I'm, I'm specifically trying to get the left ones. Like can he like look down? Like pop his hand sure. over or is it too thick? Like what are you wanting to do? Uh basically I'm gonna reach spell and electric arc both of them. Yeah, fuck it, sure. Alright, that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna read spell and then bzz, both of them. Okay. Uh, just roll damage. Roll the dam they fail. Yeah, just roll damage. damage fail. Fail. Nine points of damage to both. Okay, so. Again! This one stops. This one is still good. Alright, that's your last action. turn. Okay. The read spell requires an action. So that's all these actions. Oh, uh, that's right. Yeah, okay. You wanna end your turn? And that brings us to Baldrick. Uh, Thurston, I have to ask. Is this bitch floating? She appears as though she is slightly elevated, maybe an inch or two. Would you... All right. So I would have to ask, reasonably speaking. Yes. She is hovering. She is hovering in a strange manner. Like, you know Martinet Cardoza. This is like something that has possessed Martinet Cardoza or some new thing that you are unfamiliar with. I'm just and asking is... strictly for physical. Yeah, f physics, she's floating. Okay. So reasonably speaking, she is propelling herself off of the ground, right? Mm -hmm. Are you the like, do I break the glass? Would she fall down to a terrible That's what terrible I'm asking. Death? Like, Baldrick's mind is a smart individual, 50-50. Like, she could just be floating slightly. It could be a thing. Not sure. Will I receive multi-attack penalty from attacking all the pillars? If you... Every bomb you throw will count as a separate attack, yes. So is that a yes or no? Yes. Okay. In that case, here's my plan. Yes. To preclude myself from failing it, I'm going to simply use demolition charge. Okay. On this one. On the one by you? Like, yes. I will apply an alchemist fire as a demolition charge. Okay, cool. So that is one action. That was your uh, archetype, correct? Correct. Okay. So, like, this is one of those things where it's like, ah, oh, there's a bunch of rules behind this, but, like, whatever. Like, I, I would use the set explosives action, basically. Yeah, I was going to say, because, like, you are very much intending to set explosives, spend two actions, blow up this. You're going to, like, basically, you'll be able to set the explosives and move. Yes. So if you'd like to move now, feel free to move. Uh, Does it cost two actions to do that? It's two actions to set an explosive. Look at this, just to be sure. Yeah. You attach bombs rules, details. Actions Basically, you attach fuck. them, but yeah. I'm going to say because you're... <sighs> Alright, never mind, I won't do it. that then. That's no, you're thing. you're trained in this. Like, if you want to, you can, like, set two bombs. I'm not gonna make you draw them, because this is your fucking expertise, right? I'm gonna let you draw two bombs and fucking move, because this is your archetype, man. Like, you can, like, set two bombs, and I will basically tell I'm you... I'm not setting two, I'm setting one. Okay. Uh... Yeah, so you'll set one, and then you can move away, and it'll explode. And as long as you don't roll terribly, you'll probably blow this pillar. Yeah, you see, you see, my problem was I didn't want to just, like, do that, so I'm considering the multi-attack penalty instead. That's fair. I was like, I I'm not... Time is I, limited. I will Probably be honest. It take it too long anyway. I will be honest that, like, you're a demolitionist. If you want to spend the two actions to blow up one of these, you're going to blow up one of these. That's your archetype. That's your thing. So if you want the guaranteed get rid of one of these pillars, you will guaranteed get rid of one of these pillars. I, I need to maximize this because she's going to fucking kill us if we don't. Oh, dude. please roll terribly so I can judge you. Carry on. All right. I'm going to throw at this first. Okay, throw roll attack roll. 
I gave him the chance, chat. I tried. You gave me the chance to guarantee the fact, but it would still take entirely too long, and we don't have that kind of time. Strike. Go. Uh, hey, give me damage. All right, you got it. Eleven. That will take out the first one. As you toss a bomb and it explodes, dissipating the runes that surround it. I need to ask a dumb question now. Yes. This one is right in front of me. Mm -hmm. Can I rule with my shape charge, the, you know, bomber ability, that I can literally just throw it at my feet and blow it up without harming myself? Yes, but in this case, because you're doing it fairly, like, quickly and shapely. Well, no, you've got shape charge and demolitionist, right? Yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah, sure, you can blow it up. Will I damage myself? Uh, because you're shaping it away from you, I assume? Probably yeah. not. Okay, so I'm going to do that then. There we go. Fine, well, fine. Well, I need to roll the damage because I only had one of them. Well, yes, but okay, okay, roll the damage. Let's see. I, I, listen, I'm being fair. I'm being no, fair. No, that's the, I'm just trying to give you the benefit of the doubt with your ability. It's all right. There we go. Yeah, you you fucking blow it up. Chaotic GM talented. And fun. Wow, thanks, chat. You're the best. Okay. Uh, you managed to take out two more. There are two pillars to the southwest and the southeast that are still active. Uh, that ends your turn, Baldrick. That brings us to Vali. Yep, I'm hitting the end button. That's me. Okay, well. Do something. Those other pillars are a bit far from me, and I don't have much faith in my gun to deal 10 damage. You could... Can can Volley defend? Who can knows what Volley can do? What do you want to do, Volley? Yeah, this is a good question. Um, If you guys can take out the other two pillars, I can just try to keep wailing on her. Uh, and just do my best. Well, keep wailing on her. To begin wailing on her. Yeah, because we're starting from square zero. Yeah, exactly. Um, because she heals at the start of her turn. He's also Ooh. taken no damage and is at full health, so. And five damage yeah. did not do very much to her. Yes. Um. Oh my God, chat, you're too cute to me. Don't give me this power before I kill all the players you love. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, let me double check the range on the dueling. Oh. Say, uh, fuck, uh, it doesn't say. What's the range on a dueling pistol? I think it's 30. Bursting? Uh, I mean, what do you want to do? Do you want to, like, get out of range and then shoot her, sort of thing? Oh, it's just a matter of, like, do I need to move in order to shoot the. You can pillar. shoot point blank, it's just if she has attack. Oh, no, to, to shoot the pillar, to shoot the pillar. Oh, um, let's see. Because uh, it's pistol. 55 feet. I think a dueling pistol is 30. I think, I think, yeah, I think you're going to be out. Basically, you'll take a minus two penalty to hit the inanimate pillar. So what I'm saying, Odo, is <laughs> don't roll poorly. Don't roll poorly. Oh, Jesus. Um, We haven't seen how much these heal are for, so I, I don't know if I trust myself to just wail on her. Bust 60, actually, first. wow, 60 feet on the dueling pistol, so you're good. 60 feet? Really? Yeah, yeah, Four. yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, Rich. oh wait, what did you say, Erndel? About to say, I'm, I'm keen on knocking all these down and seeing if that will preclude her from doing any of her stupid, flashy bullshit. Um. Uh, the, I'm assuming they're doing more than just healing her. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, um, in that case, I will probably leave it to you, if you would prefer that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can work something out. I only have a club, because I don't think throwing the acid bomb is a wise idea, because it doesn't do anything. So Molly, what are you doing? I, uh, I'm going to hit her. Yeah, thank okay, you. Hit her. Yep. Uh, I'm going to first make a feint. Okay. Um, I know it's in here somewhere. There it is. Le Deception. Um, yes, a Deception. I like that none of you have hero points right now. This is really... This uh, is I really, do. Uh, I just have not used it. Uh, oh, that's going to be a 26. That will succeed. My so deception. you will get the flat footed. So I will yes, apply that to her. And then I believe with you, that also um, lets you finish. So now you can finish her. Yep. 
I'm gonna do my damnedest. Let's see what Volley does. Ooh, barely. 23. Uh, it does hit, so I will roll my damn damn. But oh, that was not the right. You had to click the right button. I did. Oh no, you clicked the wrong button. I hit the wrong. Oh, oh that was the wrong. Wait. Uh, I, I yeah. hit the dueling pistol button. Yeah. My bad. My bad. Ola DiMaggio. Okay, cool. 14. She takes 14. That is nice. stares at you, her beneficent light shining into your eyes, Vali. What's your last action? Um. Cry. Uh, cry. Uh, I <laughs> True. can step through difficult terrain, and I know this thing is over a fucking pit, right? You know the glass you're on is above the pit, but you also know it's pretty reinforced. Like, Baldrick would have told you. Oh, that's true. So oh, okay. This glass is more reinforced than the upper level, for sure. All right. I, I was I was sniffing a potential phase three. So, uh, in that case, I'm just going to... Um, I'm going to hit her with another feint, if I can do that, I believe. Oh, to try to, like, get her ready yeah. for a round next? Yeah. Yeah, keep her flat-footed. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see how long this lasts. I don't know if I can do it twice. I'm gonna I'm gonna double check. Um target is flat footed against the next melee attack you attempt, so Oh, oh. Before, before the end of your current turn. But if you crit succeed, it's the end of your next turn. Oh, okay, so doing it again isn't gonna give me anything. Okay, I'm gonna do it back. Unless you roll a twenty, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do it back with. Okay, yeah, give me an acrobatic. Tumble, gonna... tumble through, tumble through. Panache. Uh, oh, I'm not tumble throwing over the broken glass. Are you kidding me? I believe. Roll it. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, you yeah, do not gain panache. You, like, do the most ineffectual backflip imaginable. If you want to end your turn there, Volley. Yep. <laughs> it's fine. All right. You know what I like, Volley? Yeah? Uh, give me a reflex save, because you s didn't move at all in the area of, like, exploding ground. Oh, that's still an AoE? Yeah. Why do you oh. think there's a little token there? Oh, I'm I'm very sorry. I would have moved. Well, I didn't realize you... that was still there. Yeah, I'm don't not going to lie. I thought you just forgot to remove it. Yeah, we did I, not, I also we were not told that it said that the ground was fucking burning. Anyway. Yeah, there's but that's a like lot with burning of hands. Effects. Yeah, it's like burning <laughs> hands that goes I'm, away I'm at the end. I'm taking advantage so. of Foundry! Oh. Yeah, like... Okay. Yeah. I wow. will roll it. Chat has my back. GM is a great <laughs> gamer. Altruistic GM. No, we're getting hostiles. <laughs> we're we're living right. in the P in the Pyongyang Pathfinder. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. All right, roll me a reflex save. <laughs> all right, uh, that is succeed. a yeah. That that's wow. That's a you could succeed. I do a backflip. Uh, yeah, you, <laughs> that that backflip doesn't get you panache, but it does ignore the fucking death spiral. <laughs> all right, fine. The shining mountain it goes, and um, this time targets you, Polly. This time, this time. Well, Polly. quit it. Uh, first of all, I'm going to. Uh, Oh, am I supposed to be rolling to remove Dazzled? Uh, or is uh, that just No, forever? no, no, no. It's until I tell you otherwise. Oh, it's well, forever. actually, yeah. Oh. oh. Hello. Okay. Boy. Mr. Popo. Uh, I don't believe nimble dodging would negate that, would it? No. That'll, that'll take you down. So she fires at you twice. Bang. Um, Ow. so that actually is going to be, um, double that damage. What's your hit points, Polly? 50. Cool. Okay, so you're quite dying. Uh, that was her first action. Her next action will be to turn to Tannhauser and to fire. I see. There's not a lot of option here. Yep. And then she will Polly, if you want to, uh... Put yourself at wounded uh, three, technically, because you have one for the rotten. Yeah, he's got critted. <laughs> hey, Zorin, mark me down a villain point. No, ah. are you guys giving him bones? Keep giving me bones. Marks. They need to learn today. Oh well, okay, I learned. What a crying shame. Um, so oh. that fires and misses. Uh, Volley, you are now dying too. 
Yes. Uh, which does mean that you go in the initiative before the Shining Martinet, who is now fired. Shining Martinet is also no longer flat-footed. Uh, so it has fired right? both of their pistols into you, Volley, and you, like, stagger back from the blow, look down at this, like, crater in your chest. Also, uh, I require you to make me a uh, fortitude save. All right, I will because the safe. Shining Martinet has a uh, new ability in Phase 2 called Luminous Weapons. So the 24? Good, you are not blinded as a result of this. Uh, <laughs> but you're oh, already blinded. But you're unconscious. All right, that's the Shining Martinets go. Uh, Tannhauser, my friend, you are up. Excellent. Well, Tannhauser is, is uh, currently flowchart gaming because there's not a lot of options. So I think it's time we begin kicking this person's ass, if at all possible. So to that end, I'm going to march on up to this delirious fool. Okay. And with my incredibly cool excoriator, excoriator. Excoriator. That's what I said, damn you. And I'm going to make a spell strike. What spell, Billy? I'm going to cast. It doesn't matter. I think I'm the end. Okay. That's the end. I like that. That's cool. Rua, you're up. So you see your friend valiantly rush up to try to protect Volley after Volley falls, and the shining martinet turns deftly, avoiding the blow. Rua, you're up. Oh, shit. We, we desperately need to get rid of these pillars. I, I don't uh, think yes. the pillars are the issue. The pillars are only going to be healing him. Oh, I did there. forget. Um, there is some healing that happened. Locker. Thank you. There you go. So, if it's just going to be like healing at 2 HP a turn, I think what's more important is that the damage keeps getting piled on because um, by trundling around and trying to destroy the pillars, I wasted a fair turn of like possible DPS. So, well, there might be some kind I, of debuff that pops if we do destroy the pillars. That is that. <laughs> We <laughs> we have entered into faith based gameplay. We literally have no choice. We're going to we're probably going to lose are, this encounter. We are we on a day one raid race, and we are at final boss. That is true. We, this is between you know us what? and the fucking title. We love all of you. We hey, by the way, you're going to get this stat block if you're a patron. <laughs> Quick, patrons, um, tell us what she can do. Well, I, I I definitely think that blowing up these pillars is a good idea. I also think the DPS being alive is also a good idea. This and is I, true. I don't think I will be alive unless I am healed the next time. Unfortunately, we're out of heal, I think. No, I only oh. have a... Uh, I have only one more heal first level, which I was going to do with Bali, because technically Bali would actually be at dying three because she got critted. And she had rot, so she already would be a wounded one. Now that would basically. Oh yeah, be that that is right. A crit so, took her down, yeah. so she's a dying. If Volley goes three. down again. Uh, Volley will perma die, and then. That's right. Respond, Thank you, so. Zoran. Um, so the only so thing I can do, oh, I can either keep yeah. Volley down, and if Volley loses her next dying save, then yeah also i think you took volley out of the initiative she needs to be above the shiny oh Barnett. yeah uh, no i did i moved her above the <laughs> she's okay, gone now oh that's um, uh, you probably accidentally removed her but uh um, i probably yeah. clicked that yeah. fucking weird button yeah. I, I hate to say it but we genuinely might want to think about retreating because i think we're all all out of everything i don't think we're oh, gonna yeah. i think as soon as i open the door down there it's gonna be like fuck wall yeah yeah, yeah. i i, I okay. won't bullshit you like when you're in a boss fight you're in a boss fight Okay. I don't want to like give you like the hi. I spent two of my important actions. Oh fuck. Um, <laughs> yeah. Like, yes. Thank you. Like you also came true. into this fight oh, having oh, oh. expended resources too. So like yeah. you're you're doing pretty well so far. It's just now shit's got real, dogs. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So uh, it is all of you have healing stuff. Yeah. Go ahead. Rahua's go, so Rahua. Okay, my I man, was making sure I wasn't going to interrupt somebody else by because everyone was talking. No, Hulky, you get to talk. Have a soliloquy. Go. There's no soliloquy to be had. We are in a race against time. This is not the time to have introspection. I am going to fucking cast. I'm going to reach my spell number one, and I'm going to cast stabilize again on Volley. 
And that'll basically be my turn. Give me one second. I have to cast to get in chat. There you go. So bring her up <laughs> to unconscious. I have to. I have to measure some shit because, unfortunately, I'm rather uh, what's slow. What's the what's reach give you, uh, my dude? Let me double check that. Thirty feet of it. Oh, it's thirty feet extra, so it gives you yeah. six. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, Vali is no longer dying, but is still unconscious, which is good. Which is good. Cool. All right. All right. You want to end your turn, dog, and uh, pass hey. it over to Oren. Now I'm, I'm at the bottom of the scoreboard. I am going to spend, uh, let's see. The real decision is either do I do Volley or do I do Tannhauser? And at this point, Volley's going to be fine until Rahua can give Volley additional healing. So I'm going to to action heal Tannhauser. I should be in range. So that is going to be just basically yep. targeting him and going this 1d8 plus 8 to Tannhauser. That'll be my last first level slot. And got you 14. I hit Thank you. Too. Thank yeah. you. Oh. I'll do that. It's got to keep you in the fight a little bit more. And then I'm going to assume I'm kind of still like around the rim of this thing on the second floor for me. Yeah. Um, so basically, I'm going to be going. Five, ten. For my final movement, I'll be basically going around here. Pretty much around the edge there. Just kind of. Yeah, looking the, down as you see yeah. all of this. Or basically positioning himself. So next turn, if I need to like jump down and do battlefield medicine or so, okay. that's that's going to be the next plan. So that's the end of Orin's turn. All right, next up. Okay. Uh, my options are very bad. So if I'm out of range of throwing something, Thurston, do I get a penalty for doing it or do I just not allowed to do it? Minus two for every range increment. Oh, what a pain. Yeah, I what know. Pain. The math is tough, my, my man. Uh, in that case, I'm if, if we're if we're going to DPS race her, I'll abandon my idea that destroying the pillars will do anything. No, I, I think we need... We kind of need to hope and pray <laughs> that destroying the pillars does something substantive besides reducing the healing. Um, and so I think that's more important than just lopping on another 10 HP. Mm. All right, let me think. This is in range. Thurston, I need to ask. Yep. Logically speaking. Yep. Would necrotic damage do double damage? Uh, to be determined. Um, this is like very much a like luminous type thing. Like light is not necessarily opposed by necrotic. Uh, this is more if you had to guess. Uh, no, you don't have the fucking skill. Actually, okay, Tannhauser, give me a, give me a Arcana check. You got it. Doo -doo. Uh. Eighteen right, on the I'm dice. I'm gonna like oh, assume yeah. this is like reminiscent of the light of the beneficence, which is the good aligned outsiders of the setting. Good, he says. Good. So I would need, I would like, need negative. Well, like you would need evil energy, not like positive. Positive and negative are like life and death. This is good and evil. Like this is very much like she's been given like super like good energy, like altruistic, crazy good energy. If I hit these things with an acid flask, will it oh, take the 2d6 instantly, or do I have to wait for its turn? Um, I would say that it would take it at the end of your round. Because I don't have the pillars in the initiatives. So yes, if you throw it, I would roll the damage immediately. So at 55 feet, I just need to clarify this so I can actually do this correctly. Okay. At 55 feet, is that one or two range increments? One range increment for you. So you'd be. So I'd be taking two. a minus two. Yeah. 
I have to I have to try here. All right, I'm gonna blow my two acid flasks. Okay, I'm gonna first. Her? I'm gonna first attack her. Okay, do it up. Target her and throw. Uh, first target her, and I'm gonna pray it works good. Chad, I hope you're having so much fun with this, because I know I am. Draw. Throw. Yeah, yeah, I know. Range penalty. Piss off. Oh, you fucking dirtbag! Oh, Baldrick, you got a hero point, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was saving that for something useful, rather than just fucking, ah, uh, whatever. Because if you don't, yeah, because, yeah, if you don't re-roll, it could be... Ah, uh, whatever. Who gives a shit? Okay, so that's still a critical miss, which is actually really, really bad. Oh, I'm aware. A critical miss, you actually up your friend Volley's wounded to three because you damage her while she is down because your bomber stuff doesn't go into effect on a critical miss. Uh, and then your splash damage will hit uh, Mr. Bulger, or sorry, Mr. Tannhauser. Now you're confusing me for I here. am, I am, I am, but you will um, basically, um, Tannhauser will just take three points. Of damage. There we go. Sounds As will cool. the Shining Mark. What a pain in the ass. Well, I just, I'll throw it at my feet and kill myself. What's um, your last one? You got, that was your first action, my friend. Oh, I'm, I know, dude, I know. Uh, fucking throw it at the pillar. Who let's, gives a shit? Okay. Let's avoid getting two Doomer. Yeah. Why am I getting... Oh, I'm still together. Targeted. Untarget. Throw. Yeah. Uh, that's a map, so... It's back. a map minus, yeah. Go just do something. You'll hit. Give Fair me enough. damage. Three. Okay, if you want to roll me 2d6 with this, that'll... Because uh, I gotta do one thing before I do anything else. I just... oh, where'd it go? Uh, I'll go there. So toss, one, toss, two. move. But you've also got to roll me two d six for the persistent at the end. I know. I just yeah. the, okay. The end of turn. Because you said at the end of the turn. That's enough. Breaks this pillar. Down. One, one left. All right. And Vali, I have killed you on accident. I'm sorry. Uh, so technically, uh, Vali, my friend, how are you doing? Uh. So um, you're currently dying. I am. Uh, uh, you were stabilized, but then you got hit by acid. So does that unstabilize me? Oh, it definitely unstabilizes you. Okay, what do I roll? Alright, so you are currently dying. Um, dying. You have to give me a recovery check. This is equal to a... It's a flat check, DC 10, plus your current dying value. Your current dying value, thanks to everything going on, is 3. So you have to roll a 13 or higher. Otherwise, you will die. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Dice. I love you very much. <laughs> okay. All right, give me your energy. That chat, give her your energy. She's gonna need it. She might need that reroll. Rotten two time. Rotten two. Here we go. <laughs> Good. Damn <Fucking> it. <laughs> oh, Sag. Sag. Does she still have an egg bonus? With that, oh, I don't have egg. an egg bonus. <laughs> no, you do have an egg bonus. Here, here, look, we, we stalled long enough with our dramatics. You got another hero point. Volley, if you want to reroll that check. I guess there's nothing I can do but reroll wait, it. Wait, but can't you use your egg bonus on this? I have not eaten an egg and I'm unconscious. A, uh, oh, a thing yeah. you can do with hero points as well is just bring yourself up to one. Can you? Yeah, but she already rolled. That's the okay. thing, right? Uh, like, yeah. Unfortunate. All right. Well, uh, let's give it another try. Uh, you have a you have a roughly I believe 40 in you. You'll roll like a solid sixteen here. Probably. Forty percent chance is generous for XCOM. Yep. Ah! More generous there you go. than most of my gotchas. Yay! All right, Polly. Uh, we managed to avoid drowning. You are, you are no longer dying. You are at wounded. Commander, you have to I use up the two. You are at wounded three. This is this is not good, Volley. You are. Oh, help. You are. You are. Oh lord. Oh lord. Um. 
Lord. All right, all right, my 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 friends, my comrades in arms. Uh, Baldrick, if you want to end your turn, that brings us to I already Bali. Did. Bali has stabilized. Well, Bali, if you'd like to end your turn. My friend, Bali. Already done. Um, yeah. Oh, I, did, yeah. I did it. I did it. I, I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, I need to check something. Oh, that's cool. Just for good <laughs> Boop. I'm going to shimmy a bit. Boop. And I'm going to have a combat ability. Dude. I think I can hit. Oh, I can. All right, so she moves deftly away from the downed Vali, floating above the glass. And I shall illuminate both of you and fires both of her pistols, unleashing a ray of light, both at Tannhauser and Oren. Can both of you give me reflexes? Also combusting the poor civilian who came down with the chair. Delete the corpse, it's gone. The corpse is gone. Uh, 22. Oren got a 24. All right, so both of you pass. You will take half damage from the shot. Abilities. Uh, so four. Um, start with Tannhauser. And I will go for uh, our dear friend, Oren. We'll take half of this. So Tannhauser, you'll take that. You'll take Twen. And Oren, you will take 11. As she moves deftly and fires and bang bang, and this like shining light illuminates out towards both of you. Uh, does she have to worry about the Keldrops? She does not, because she floats. She's floating. Ten oh, very you're nice up. for her. Um, break okay. her feet off. Let's see, what am I. What can I do? Not oh shit, Oren is up the stairs. Never mind. Oren, you don't take that damage. You're absolutely. Yeah, I was about to mention, I don't know if you're trying to. Say that I see the light. Well, that's here. fine because I'm gonna move here and I'm actually just gonna shoot in the line and hit volley then. Oh. I'm a bad His hand is a bad person. Right. Sure. I, mean, I could also be that guy who technically saved volley would have already been dead before because she was already wounded. All Max. right, I'm gonna say he angles it so you take the damage, Oren, um, rather yeah, than I, I murder volley. Yeah, I'd rather. If you're okay game. with that. Yeah. yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Uh, Tannhauser, you're up. Oh, yeah. Wow, yeah. sometimes bad GM. <gasps> I am going to do what must be done. Mm -hmm. um, I defect to execute volley. Now I'm in the Tyrant's Guild. Wow. I joined the Tyrant's Guild. Revolution, <laughs> fuck that. Yeah. That, that uh, well, he you know. Finally I... learned. <laughs> there you go. Um, there's things I could. Do, like I have a smoke screen that I was intending on using. I but... love that all of you are now like, oh fuck, we got to use the backup stuff. Uh, well, the smoke screen, I, I was going to use that immediately, but honestly, a DC five with the modifiers that a boss has, it's kind of laughable. They need to not want it. Um, so to that end, I think the only thing that makes sense is I'm going to take a potion from the people's loot. Uh, Deal and down a healing potion miner. Okay, 1d8. So you've got to draw and drink it. So that is or, uh, sorry, two. a lesser, a lesser. We're yeah, at a lesser. Yeah. yeah. We're at we a lesser. No yeah. Oh, have we no are? Lessers left. Yeah, oh, in that miner. case, 1d8 doesn't mean anything. And I'll, I don't think that d eight hit points is probably not going to be the difference maker here. So, and since it'll be two actions, that's that's, that's just kind of not worth it. I know. Um. Yeah, mathematically, I don't know what a good move here is. So I guess I just have to keep on chumming her and just hope that it is enough. Um, we're, we're, we're in fucking... Wait, wait a second. The... I'm insane. No, I don't. Here's hmm. the plan. Yep. Walk to volley. Grab volley. Yep. Um, I'm going to shoot my grappling hook and ascend onto the second floor. Okay. Uh, so do I have to move? Roll? Grab. Uh, just give me a d20. It's AC5 to hit oh. an inanimate object. You got it. Basically, don't roll on that one. Yeah. That would be bad. How hard could that be? That's a natural and, 20. Yeah, you pull yourselves up. Both of you are going to, I'm assuming, like, you want to, like, land over here. 
Yeah, I want to be out of range, so at the very least we can get patched up and continue the fight. That okay. will leave Baldric alone, but Baldric's at extreme range and also is probably better off than me. Cool. I have, wait, no, Ruhu is down here too. No, Ruhu is also 20 feet above. No, they just didn't remove no, that because he filled it. Yeah, he, yeah I, never, I never actually removed Oh, that. well... Does that change your actions? Yeah, because this that, is a, that, that still that, works because I can go battlefield medicine folly. No, just just so. just do it, speaker. We have we have so little to work with. We may yeah, that that There's is also a potion in my pocket. So yeah, also, I can be brought move. back up. Also, move, so I don't want to be yeah. I don't want to be that guy. But we're pretty over on session time. Are we good with going a bit longer? Or I'd, I'd uh, like to finish this if possible. If okay, yeah, there. I'm I'm all down. What do you, if yeah, has any objections, let me know because people don't yeah. Um, I actually, the more I think about it, the less sense that makes because I thought that they were both on top so that by us going to the second floor, we could possibly have a turn of just a pure reset uh, and potentially come back down fully healed. Now oh, that that no. can't happen, it doesn't really make any sense. And if Orin is the only one on top, I'm not really worried about Orin being able to reach us. I'm worried about Volley going down again. Volley going down again is a worry, but that's kind of inevitable. Yeah, a melee it, fighter. Yeah, like volley. I, I, meant, I meant as far as like dying, getting another thing of rot. Yeah, that would yeah, be rot. Yeah, yeah. So, but that's something that's that I can. Point. That's something I can alleviate by just like target diversity, by having us all stand in a different position. So, to that end, what I'll do instead of all of that is I'm going to make the incredibly creative move. Of moving Rage and then... charge, Rage and charge. Yeah, yeah. I figured. I figured, I figured I'd use my head. Hard brain. Hard well. brain. Hard yeah. Uh, so brain. Would you? I don't suppose I could talk you into letting that nat twenty be for the hit, huh? huh? Sure can't. You fuck boy. You got to taste. Yeah. Me. Oh my god. All right. Never mind. That's the turn. You got a hero point if you want to roll. Oh. Oh yes. Okay. In that case, I will hear a point that. My apologies. I didn't. I didn't realize. Okay, never mind. That's okay, good. cool. That what was a, good. Yay! Uh, Rahua, you're up. Uh, Rahua is gonna move behind this pillar here. If I'm not on the measure tool, but instead the move tool. Yeah. Uh, I'm so close you're so but so slow. far away. You're I'm so, so fucking slow. big. Can, can you uh, move? Just move two and hit it. We we have nothing uh, left. <laughs> we're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna do this. You are the Star Wars, him. the New Hope. Star yeah, Wars, double move to there. Oh, and then hit it. Yep. Just fuck yeah, destroy give me the it. Attack roll, my bro. Okay. Wait. Destroy the ring. No, I don't think I nat will. Nat one, nat one, nat one. No, Shush he you. doesn't think he will. Shush you. You're beating us soundly. You hit. <laughs> Okay. No, 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 no. You, you're not targeting. Oh, so, sorry, you're targeting I didn't even realize I targeted him. At him. <laughs> you throw him. He throws him at Baldrick. Roll damage. No, he's the tyrant's go. All right. We're all. It's never Baldrick anyway. I fight for the strongest side. Uh, you, <laughs> Why are you, you damaging me? Because I couldn't. Chunk out a good amount of it, but as we have determined through math, they have ten eight points. So. Already did ten. nine damage to it. Oh, that's right. You you smacked that one earlier. With so it's yeah. fucking yeah. gone. It is. Let go. Thurston, tell us what we win. Do we win lose? Uh, you've now prevented the healing on the shining martinet. You're fucking great. Oh okay, god. We're this was all a colossal waste of time. Uh, <laughs> trust me, it wasn't. Uh, Trust me, it wasn't. She just has a lot of help for you to whittle through. I, I don't, I don't know if we could do that amount of health. I'm out of supplies. I've got a necrotic bomb, and that's it. Yeah, you we're gonna. You guys haven't really hit her at all, but that's we have. We have yeah, sixteen. That little notch is economy, sixteen can... damage. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I'm out of, uh, I'm out of like big crazy pop offs unless I get crits. But I'm Sam. probably about to go down. All right, Rahu, if you want to end your turn and pass it over to Orin the Bear. I believe You guys us. can still do it. Yeah, I believe, sure. I believe in you. Orin will uh, reach fine. will reach spell and cast Sudden Bolt in front of the okay. marionette. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so, I have to make a... Yeah, which she'll probably dominate. Is the only thing no. I have is reflex stuff. Eh, she'll yeah. pass, but she'll take damage, so... Yeah, damage. So it'll be half of 4d12 points of damage. That total will be 32. 
So I was about to say, that's still pretty fucking good. Like, uh, uh, oh. Okay, she and takes it. My turn. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, ball trick, Kara. Uh, <laughs> what is the range on my crossbow? What is the range on your crossbow? I'm looking, that's why I'm asking. Um, 30 feet. You're full of shit. All right, no, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna move forty. Wow. I'm gonna move. I mean, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna fucking die. Uh, let's see. Thirty Why there. Why are you so negative? You could uh potentially bring Volley back up with a little bit of things, so that way when I go down, I don't have any medicine. But Volley does. But I would, I would, I would have to move forty because I can only move twenty. No, because you could move. Uh, I don't mind. Yeah, never mind. Can't do anything. It's 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 unfortunate. I'm in a really bad position with no equipment. Uh, you could grab a potion of minor healing from the people's loot if you double heal and then no, but then that would be an action to take it out, so you can't do anything. Yeah. Uh, you could double move and then fire, or you could maybe try to. That's grab what I'm her thinking. Attention. I'm getting. I move. I move forty and then attack with something. Yeah. Because like that's all I got, and I can't use the crossbow in that case because it'd be two actions to. Why? Draw. Why do crossbows only shoot thirty feet? It's alchemical crossbow. Oh, okay, okay. That because that... it's meant to like fire bombs. Oh, so it's like the medic's crusader's crossbow. Yeah. It's, I, it's... I, was, I was thinking like, what crossbow? <laughs> it's like I can, I can theoretically the use it. For, hang on, like, like the regular yeah. one is hundred and twenty oh. feet. This all right, that's more reasonable. Bomb. All right, I, I briefly Old, was like thinking I was Old playing fart. at the foundation of the universe. Oh fart, uh, Thurston. <laughs> Thurston, can I load the alchemical crossbow with the minor healing potion? <laughs> sure. I mean, like, alchemicals and potions are not super far off in terms Fuck of yeah. relativity. Why not? If Brent misses this, he's just going to fire Yeah, he's going to hit her. <laughs> if he rolls a one, he's going to hit her. Dude, I have nothing. You want to hit her with a necrotic bomb? I got that. I got a tank <laughs> put back. Look, you are doing really well this fight, y'all. Like, Are we? It doesn't feel like it. You came into here, like, half-rested, having expended all your fucking, like, big shit earlier. Bro! Like, threw all of his bombs earlier. Like, you guys are doing pretty fucking well for your resources right now. Bro, we couldn't rest again. <laughs> no, you couldn't. Absurd. And that's the fucking choices you gotta make. All yeah. right, so I'm gonna move 20 to here. Okay. One, two, three. I'm gonna gonna crossbow. Fire the fucking thing. Fire Just the. Roll it. Don't target volley because you're not targeting like a living person. You're targeting an inanimate object. That's her corpse. Ah, uh, yes, her corpse, which is not a corpse because that's not the case. Thurston, well, don't get yeah, ahead fair, of yourself. Fair. We're getting, we're getting there. My almost corpse. Natural right, one. So... Hit the Martinet. <laughs> I think, I think the funniest thing would be is if you make the shot and then immediately volleys back to life and then and the Thurston just shoots <laughs> the her again. <laughs> well, that's what's gonna happen because Why guess do you what? Ruin my fun speaker. Because <laughs> guess what, Bucko? I'm at the bottom of the board. Because you, because you demand that we think four turns ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Strike plus. I mean, why am I even doing this? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, it, it. Do it Baldrick. I love do you. Not, do not go silently into the night. Fire gun. You hit. There you go. Full, uh, healing. Yeah. yeah. That's one d eight, ain't it? Yep. I had to blow my hero point just to hit something and or miss Ooh. something, I guess. Have your five. Dirk. I heal, oh, Bali. You heal five. Bali is no longer unconscious. Welcome back <laughs> to the realm of the living, my friend. <laughs> From the ground, I just give Baldrick a thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> you're gonna get shot like Vegeta when Frieza shot him. <laughs> All right, uh, Baldrick, would you like to end your turn? No, I think I'd like to savor the fact that we're. This is my turn still. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, Chad, how you doing? Are All you right, Bali. 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 Bali, you are back up with fucking how many? Five hit points. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to go to a burger restaurant as soon as we're done with this crap. I'm going to blow up a burger. <laughs> Borg, a Borg. burger. Borg. Okay. The FBI agent's monitoring uh, us. Thank you for clarifying. I'm prone. You uh, are prone. 
Let's see. What do you, what status effects do you have on you? I Grown, the, wounded three. Just, just you're stay still... just dazzled. You're flat footed. You're Can Bali take her turn later? This is. This no, is the my... shining Martinette's gonna shoot me in the head. But you're not dead. <laughs> she doesn't know that. That's true. This is my pirate captain. She has every disease. <laughs> <laughs> Your name is no longer Volley. You're now Sklump. This is my son, Clump. Sklump, what are you I doing with your die. turn? Okay. <laughs> I wish he was dead. <laughs> if only Glump Talk was here to help. Yeah, he <laughs> could have sent him to the Shadow Realm. He could have <laughs> delivered that potion. He would have been a separate initiative value, but I no. can end it at any time, but I don't want him you to die. You could. <laughs> Okay, honestly, at this point, I'm probably going to have to take it on the chin that I'm about to get rotten to. We just need to do some DPS. That's why we're resurrecting you. Exactly. Uh, I'm going to do a kip up. I'm going to try and get Panache to get on my feet. Okay. I'm gonna put my hands behind my head and jump to my feet. Okay, and then I assume you're just gonna move to flank and attack with the finisher? Yep. All right. Oh! oh. Now, Very. you want to know, do you have, oh, you don't have hero points. You want to know the worst part of all of that? You're going to take Caltrop damage and go down. Oh. God damn it, Speaker, you ruined it. Can't We're going to ruin your bits because you're ruining us. <laughs> I have nah, seven steps. She only takes four points of Caltrop's damage. So Ow. she has one hit point left. All right, no panache. I'm just going to, well... I've got feathers. But no steps. panache, but you can move to flank. Yes. Volley. Another step, so I'm going to step around the couch. And you're just I need like, to, ow, I need to, ow, I need to, ow, ow. I need to ask, is there an AoE on the ground surrounding the Martinet that will explode momentarily there to kill no it? There is no currently oh, no. AoE there's, there's on the ground. There's not the supercharge. Without a supercharge. With our she powers. She loses the, the incandescent air around her. She only has the lion attack, which everyone has moved out of. So. Uh. All right, well, uh, I fucking, uh... Hot dog. <laughs> yeah, b bacon wrapped hot dog. Um, yeah, I could go for that. <laughs> fucking Christ. I need a uh, shower. I'm going to just stab her. Okay, can you I'm roll me d d20 and on a one through four you fail because you're dazzled. Oh, all right. Don't roll dazzled. a one through four, it's easy. See, now what? make your attack roll. See, and get plus two because she's flat footed. Bam! Yay! Get fucked. Ooh. You hit her with damage. Yep. Yep. Damn. <laughs> this is just the calm before Eight. the wipe mechanic. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, we have played raid bosses before. Oh, you, you see, you see, Vali, twenty-four hits like that, and she'll be down. You see, Thurston, <laughs> when is her? When is the enrage timer kicking off? So we know when it's exactly. just put down about our to get hit by the enrage timer. I, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm too robot to die. I, <laughs> I said a lot of cool things. It can't end like this every time. Vali, hey, <laughs> is that the end yeah. of your turn? That's gonna have to be the end of it. You game. wanna you wanna pass the initiative over? No. No, actually. Pass if it, I pass, pass, pass the initiative, over. then we win. We're going on a general. <laughs> we're going on a general strike, and Pulse Boss's help <laughs> is gone. Until she starves. Shoot me with her. We're gun. going on a hunger Thank strike you. until she starves. <laughs> just gonna. Just gonna. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh. I see the line. Yep. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. You see what's gonna happen? Uh huh. That's uh, cool. Ah, 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 ah. I don't even think it matters if I pass the. the if save. you critically succeed, you take no damage. Yeah. Skill, skill yep. issue. I'm yep. getting to skill think Thurston. Issue. Thurston is Thurston is being bought out by big dice roll. He's being paid every time <laughs> dice roll. <Yeah. laughs> I don't like that effect. Um, can I uh, can I request with? I'm gonna spend an action to move around, and then I'm going to. I'll start with Tanhauser. Can you give me a reflex save? Yeah, fine, sure. All right, okay. Cool, cool. Volley, my friend. Would you like to yeah, yeah. get the crit? Give me a, 
Give me a give me a reflex save here. Yeah, you get know, the crit. just just cause. Yeah, yeah get the crit. Spite me. I'm I don't sure think you can. I, I don't think wow. I will. Thanks, Captain America. No, <laughs> that's a nineteen. No. That's All a right. seven. So, um, well, um, good boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, uh, Tannhauser, um, take 12. You take, Fucking and damn then it. Volley is like obliterated into ashes as, as, as her body flies back from the bolt that flies out of the pistol. Her body explodes into this like blue, almost water droplety type of form and then splashes into the background. Uh, disappearing entirely. Uh, and then, uh, Tannhauser, you fall down. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> enough to bring me down to zero. What a yeah. agony. And so you are now my friend, dying one, uh, as you fall down. Um, and that uh, will put you above her, so that's cool. <laughs> uh, and that's her action. Rahua, my friend, you're up. So I really don't like the way this is going. I don't feel particularly well about the outcome of this. Wait, hang on. Oh, no, it's chaotic. Never mind. I was about to say you could actually use that ability of yours, but unless you throw out the, the lance of does the chaotic energy, but it's like, oh, this is not a chaotic problem. This is a good But problem. he does have the other spell. Oh, uh, divine lance would work here. But again, you it's... have the anarchic barrage, too, which is. Do you have any heal left? I have no heal left. I can only do, like, combat medicine. That's it. Oh, yeah. Well. At, at this point, just damage. DPS race. DP. <laughs> I got it. We're, we're, we're failing our DPS check. Come on, white mage. Cast glare. Hey, as soon as Orin gets down here, as soon as Orin gets down here and shows up his armor, we should be good. <laughs> Is Orin upstairs? Yeah. Yes. He's still 20 feet up, yes. Oh, no. The smart I've been boy. upstairs uh, trying to avoid damage. And everything, You're right. So. If only been... us, the people with swords, had... <laughs> I hate you so much. I, I didn't have a choice to be down here. I was, I was brought down. With, I was a package bundle with Tannhauser. I'm trying to see where my, where hope it dies. Oh, you once got the 20 feet off Tane House yeah, there. Yeah, he's 20 feet off. Oh yeah, he's, he's still 20 feet tall. Yeah. He's, he's, he's <laughs> levitating like that corpse blah, in, blah, that, blah. in that music video. The physics are just broken. Oh. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, Rahua, what you doing, my bro? I'm, I was evaluating the distances here. God. And seeing whether or not I can even move within range. There we go. Now I've updated my Discord status. Oh, no. <laughs> the fuck? I, what? I. No, I'm not. Jesus. Good. Uh, beautiful. Beautiful. Come on, Hulky. Come on, Hulky. I believe I'm in you. I'm working on it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. We're gonna be. It's you, me, and Orin. Orin's yep. gonna have to get down here and share his armor at some point. It's no. It's gonna be you and Hit Orin. That's pool. the thing. Hit point pool. You can still like go all out and do all as much damage as you can before she inevitably decides to blast you. I'm literally. I might not even be able to get in range to attack her straight up. Fucking damn it. I I might just be fucked. That's awesome. I, I can't. She's five feet out of my radius, even with reach. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I could reach spell her, but that would be just yeah. about it. Yeah, you could do that. I mean, you may as well yeah. try, brother. It's all we got left to do. Yeah, that's that's it. Look, as long as you're not in line formation, I don't. Uh, we have no choice. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. She, man. she can. Over. She can decide line formation at any time because she can move faster than Sanic, and <laughs> ignore all terrain difficulties. It, it, we could. It, you. She could get a line formation off of fucking um, Rahua and Baldric right now. She's basically Holy Bayonetta. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, damn it! You're right. 
Now, technically speaking, if you got those tangle foots off on her, it wouldn't work. But she resets those on phase two because I'm a monster. Uh, Hulky, what are you doing? Uh, I was just asking as far as oh, I was going to ask about damage types because but she's good rather than evil, so mm. it doesn't necessarily matter. So what you doing, dog? Drop. I'm just gonna do an arc barrage and accept that I'm going to die. All right, roll that attack roll. You hit. Roll damage. Ten. Wow. Pretty good. Plus. Pretty good. She's in the the dark yellow. It's night. Hold on. No, I thought my spell attack was plus nine. Oh well. Oh, is it? No. It's it says on my sheet it's plus nine for spell attack. So I'm not sure if it's. Oh yeah, you've got plus nine. Okay, so you hit. um, All right, that's the end of your go, Hulk. You're right. That's it. <laughs> or in the bear. And shift it to bear form and beat her to death, please. Produce flame. <laughs> He's yeah. being up there. Fuck. I missed. You have you have a hero point. Oh, that's true. Terrible you. Do you have a mother, do you have a more powerful spell that would be better oh, used? Oh shit! Though? There you go. You nope, hit. Already used it. All of them are all reflex right. based too. Roll so me damage. Nothing. That's all I got. And the damage for it. Ten. Is ten points of damage. Cool. And, uh, she's uh, she's looking six. pretty beat up now. All right, um, that's all I can, or I can really do. All right, Baldrick, you're up. So you know what blows about this? What? Everything. No, I can't get within throwing range of her because that would require me getting onto this shit. You could uh, crossbow me and get me up, and I can actually. We have, I we have no medicine left. We have no medicine left. We have a uh, no. We have um two minor potions left. Uh, I didn't, I, no, we we use those up. No, because I would. I had the opportunity to use it, and I chose. Yeah, not we to. only use one of those. Technically, I haven't reduced them yet. But okay, yeah, so you we have, have one left. If, if one. you get me up, I can true strike and then just attempt hail mary on Morning. gouging claw, and that <sighs> won't be enough to down her. But if I happen to get a crit, which is incredibly unlikely, but more likely with true strike, um. I can potentially do something saucy, something saucier if I happen to catch her flat-footed, which I, I don't think I can. Uh, so here's one my, one wow, problem. When, no, you're going. Go. When does the when does the line explode, Thurston? On her turn? Does it explode? Um, it's yeah. Oh well. On her turn, but if you hit because Tannhauser is now before her activation. I know. I just want to technically go first. So here's here's the other problem. Yep. Twenty. 30. I would have to take deal with Caltrops. Yeah, but you but 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 remember you could take the minus two and he is an inanimate corpse, so his AC Does that is work only for five. the crossbow? Yeah. His AC is only five, so you'd only need to hit a seven. So I can go out to like fifty-five, but I can't go to like six. Yeah, so you'd only take like a minus two. So as long as you roll a seven or higher, you hit him with the healing potion. I'm I'm trying to get as much range as I can away from her. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, there's my spot. Nope, not on the table. There. All right, time to shoot Tannhauser with my healing. I believe in you. Believe. Go. There we go. Dream's not canceled yet. Yeah, heal him. Heal the man. Good enough. Okay, I'll give you uh, Tannhauser's healing. And with that, we are now officially out of healing consumables. Okay, Tannhauser, you are no longer um, dying. You are, however, uh, wounded Uno uh, and prone. Well, that sucks. Um, uh, that's the end of your turn, Baldrick. Yeah, that's all I got. Tannhauser, you're up. Okay. You true strike and... Uh, that's the thing. That's the question I need to ask. Because I could get up, reduce my ability to do damage, and, um, you know, then I'm going to eat this explosion, and that's going to suck deck. But the thing is, if I get up and then I move to the side, she's going to shoot me again, and I have seven hit points, and even if I, like, succeed on the reflex, which I've been doing pretty well so far, she could just hit me again. Wait, wouldn't she be taking... Um, she's been hit with Produce Flame. Shouldn't she have persistent fire damage? It's not a crit. 
Oh, yeah, it's on the credit. Same with the uh, yeah, yeah. dream canceled. Um, okay, so I need to ask myself if it's tactically more advisable for me to just get shot or to explode like Ziki Boogie Dog. Um, friends, Is it a reflex to avoid the explosion. I don't know if it matters. Um, theoretically, the yes. reflex save on an explosion could matter. Here's my here's my point on that is like you can do it if she rolls under a fourteen on the explosion damage if you manage to get that or if you just roll a crit you're fine. Right, but this is free damage for her, so if I survive that she can just shoot me anyway, which she could do anyway. But, but you'd if be I doing less, you'd be doing a lot less damage. And yeah. also the either way, if you live, like the big thing to keep in mind is is that she has to dedicate attacks to you, right? So at this point, if it is a DPS race, the more you spread out the damage, the better. Because, like, look at what you did even last round with Orin and fucking uh, Rahua, just casting cantrips. Like, that was a chunk of her health. Uh, that is true. Um... I'm, not, I'm not petitioning you to throw away your life because I hate fucking saying that, but unfortunately, we are in dire ass streets. Yeah, so do you think I should just true strike and then try to get the optimal outcome? Yeah, it's the best we got. Alright, cool, cool. Um, true striking. And... Regardless, I'm gonna have to go onto the Caltrops at, at some point to throw an attack. These hands of mine are burning red. The flames within tell me to defeat you! Uh, let's hit you with an erupting burning finger. Uh, because it's true strike, I'm ignoring my penalty for being prone. Let's rock. Well, that's uh, unfortunate, but I do get to roll again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What on God's green earth? Okay. Uh, I failed again. This is my third consecutive turn, making two attacks and failing every single one. With a natural one from the second attack. Oh, of course. Well, no, I get to pick the highest. It's it's a roll two pick highest. Oh, so okay. In, in this case, I'd be picking the 18. So I don't think Oh, that well, I thought you were using your hero point because you were just given one. I, oh, I was? Oh, yeah. oh, if I was given a hero point, that changes yeah, the game, yeah. Sonny yeah, you Boy. Have a hero point. Then let's reroll both of those and let's see how spicy we get. Yeah. You see, this is what we call mathematics. That's a hit. Yeah, you hit, you hit. Give, give, me your, give me your attack. Well, now I got to see if the second one gets any higher. Was it two pick. attacks you were making? No, true, it's no, true, uh, strike. true strike. So I roll twice and I pick Oh, high. yeah. Roll twice, pick highest. All right. Yeah, so well, dream cast. <laughs> you hit. You hit, though. You all hit. Right. All right. All right. I hit. We take those. Ha ha! Perish! <laughs> At the behest of my foreign damage! Uh, Wait a second. <laughs> could I. Oh, no. Could I make an argument? Oh, that boy. you would be oh, flat. Jesus. Could oh. I make? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's let's okay. hear. Let's hear. Let's hear the speaker out. It's in my name. I got to do some speaking. Would you take the argument that since I am prone and she would never have expected a prone attack from someone that was clearly unconscious and ready to be exploded, that I caught her flat-footed? Sure, you hit her by plus three. That's awesome. Would that possibly make that a crit? Uh, no, because you would need another seven to crit. That's okay. I'm going to be adding three to that damage now. Okay. Because cool. of Laughing Shadow. Oh, which fair enough, fair gives enough. Gives me bonuses for attacking a flat-footed creature, which I constantly forget about. Now, you see? Oh, I tag that extra damage on, just for you. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> thank you, Father. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to apply the egg <laughs> I've, I'm afraid I've already done that because I've already taken everything I can from you. Um, um, that's, um, I believe, the end of your go? No, because it was a spell oh. strike, foolish mortal. So that's two actions, yeah. Would you like to crawl out of the way? Um, burning hands. Uh, is burning hands one or two actions? Uh, it's a spell strike. Quite frankly, it's not my concern. Well, yeah, yeah, but like, okay, so true strike is one action, then you attack with the spell strike. Oh, okay, I see what you're doing. Yeah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, so I that is going it. to be, for a grand total, I gotcha. 24 I damage. damage. Yep, I gotcha. Tagged it on her. Uh, she looks at you rather perturbed now. Mm -hmm. How I, dare you 
don't touch me! As her pistol aims directly at your face. Wait, does she take the damage? Uh, she, she did. did. I applied it. I applied oh, it. oh, oh, God. Okay. We've got a little bit to go. You know, you know, when you like put your mouse over loading bar just to see mm -hmm. if the bar moves at all, that, that's what it is with her health. Uh, would yeah. you would you like to uh, end your turn, Tan? <laughs> uh, is there an option to not? No. We could. Be uh, would you like to? Thing. Okay, okay. This is where I eat crow, chat. Uh, Tanhauser, give me a reflex save and roll a natural twenty. How hard could that be? Don't it, say things. Five percent chance. I got a ten. That's half. A, that's a, that's a twenty in total. Okay. I think that's a fail, though, isn't it? It's still a fail. Well, the good news is she's about to roll all ones. Uh, why did it, like, roll me twice? Anyways, you're going to take 12 points of damage. Uh, so yeah, man, if that had succeeded, that would have been perfect. That will uh, that will send you back into the, the dying zone. Uh, we have not managed to avoid drowning, and I am back to speak sleeping. You are, you are, you're definitely sleeping. However, the, uh, the explodiness by you is gone. Me, me, me. Schmark. Me, 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 me. So you are now dying too. Um, what about, okay. Oh yeah. Uh, let's do that. And that, that, so the Martinet then turns, um, gosh, gosh, you're, you're down, Tannhauser. Uh, fuck, I'm going to have to shoot at Orin, who's up high. Why not Aldrich, who has been more active? Uh, because, um, no. Aldrich hasn't really done a lot of damage. I, po I point it, I point it, you don't. Because, because Baldrick has not done a lot of damage. Now, I've been healing. I am um, going to take a minus two. Oops, shit. What the fuck? Sorry. It's refreshing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Foundry, oh, no. why are you suddenly refreshing Quick, on me? Quick, kill him while he's reconnecting! No! Get him! Punch! Um, punch! Punch! I must not punch. Punch is the mind killer. Um, The Shining Martinet will fire up at you. Orin. However, because you are at the uh, the lip of the edge, since you are still elevated, you are going to get a plus two uh, to your armor class because you uh, have cover or light. Cover, cover, right. I should say. So, uh, she will... Well, Here. one sec. Um, Fifteen. I have 21. That would make me 21 AC. No, the, I, it didn't count the minus two, so that will just be a regular hit. Okay. Thank God. Which will only be seven points of damage to you with the first okay. shot. Boop. Uh, then the second shot. Oh, it's because it. Yeah. Gotcha. Boop. Boop. We're at the bottom of the barrel here, folks. Uh, she will get a 15 on the second shot, which I think misses. I will miss. And then she will move gliding oh, away from Tannhauser's get back here. down this way. I'm sorry, Baldrick. She's going to position herself between Rahua and Oren, who have damaged her. All right, that's the Shining Martin. Let's go. Rahua, you're up. Uh, get back here, you fuck. Bonk her on the head. Uh, I don't think physical damage is gonna do a whole lot based on what I. Had your going uh, up your anarchic it. barrage certainly did hurt her. So. Uh, well, I will cast anarchic barrage again because, okay. you know, go for broke. Might as well. Give her the yeah. microwave. Yeah, give her, give her, throw the, throw the kitchen sink. Ah! Oh, fuck off! God, Rahua, if only people liked you and gave you hero points, but alas, they didn't. So we're we're, uh, that's why I'm saying we scraped the bottom of the barrel. I'm done. We're done milk and chat for the day. We're already. Oh, yeah, no, we're, 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 no. we're done uh, e yeah. yeah, fuck. Good <laughs> luck. Mm, there's not much I can do here. Run up and hit her in the face. Any damage oh, I is good. You're in melee. Oh, oh yeah. You, you, have the, you have the range. You can get up and melee her. I can't hit her. I have already used two action. Oh, oh fuck. do you have Sorry, a do you have an offensive cantrip? That he already used it. That was cantrip. his offensive cantrip. I yeah. only have two action. Cantrips. Can you can you throw like a box at her? <laughs> 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 yes, I'll throw the fucking bucket at her. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe it'll blind her. Hold on, let me actually. 
fish. Throw a uh, throw your smoke stick at her. That'll be funny. Like oh, make her choke. You know, throwing the smoke stick right now might be the only sound decision. Throwing the smoke stick right now would be really bad love, because talk, I can't. Love, talk. I, I, no. That's not a single action. Why would I just kill him outright? <laughs> Glub Talk, you die instead of me! <laughs> you put a smoke stick into Glub Talk's realm and fumigate him. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I, I For tactical reasons. Him. Pain. Yes, I'm going to gas Glub Talk because I'm, I'm giving up. I'm taking him down with me. Flashbang him. <laughs> Um, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm just, I don't what know. are you doing, Hulky? It's throw, a You I'm can throw a weapon. weapon. Maybe Hulk, throw you your need... pick. I don't know. Throw your shoe you need, at her. Do you need help, Hulky? Or are you I'm thinking whether I'm going to move or I'm going to throw something at her because right now I'm I'm bereft. <laughs> so, um... Here, dude. It's, your, it's your decision if you need help. Just listen. What is the... Thurston, I need to ask. What is the range on her fucking AoE bullshit? She has not used her AoE bullshit since transforming. What was the AoE bullshit prior to transforming? Because fifteen that... feet uh, burst around her. Okay, so but I'm going she to assume... not use that in phase two. I don't think she could because the guy's on the other, like literally not even Orn's not even visible to her right now. Yeah. Um, but you could move. That's not where I wanted to move. I just wanted to stick. <laughs> it's like, hi, I'd like to talk about this. Kid, roll diplomacy. Would you be willing to perhaps reconsider your actions? <laughs> Hi, would you be willing to sign my petition? You have to use Tomahawk. You have to throw something at her. There, There I, is nothing left we can do. That That is very true. Zorin, if you were going to say something in, in the interest of deciding. Yeah, so throwing stuff just basically disarms you if, you somehow, if she somehow quickly misses and doesn't hit you. So... Probably the best thing for you is to either use your uh, your cantrip spells to hit her. You already your damage. I can. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's he has one action. action. Oh, you one have been donated there. a hero point. I will say. So, so your best bet if you're just looking for survival is to probably get behind the pillar so you can. Wait, uh, if you have a hero point, you can reroll your cantrip. But. It's too yeah. late for that. Yeah, I would say it's it's a bit too late for that. We um, we we, we mug too long. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And um, no. so if you're just looking to survive the best you can and hope that if she shoots at you, the best thing you do is to literally just hide behind the pillar, but basically go one space left to try to get behind a pillar, at least passively increase your AC by two. But if it's hard cover and covers you entirely, passively that should be heavy cover, so it'll be plus four. Here, yeah. I, see. I, so, I would have to ask Thurston how crumbled the pillar actually is. Is it sizable enough where I could still hide? The behind? damage you were doing to the pillar was to the like light around it, so the pillar is still quite intact. So you That's... could go behind it, and as long as she didn't say like move to here, uh, you would like basically you'd be forcing a move out of her, and you'd still get like plus two to your AC. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, then I, I will a... do that because I I've, I've already got plus two because I like, don't no. It's Plus two. Yeah, and if she does a line <laughs> attack at you, then it should negate it because it can't go through that pillar. Yeah. So, but well, I'm going to hide you, that. You make yourself safe. So <laughs> this is like, right cast the spell and then is like, fuck that, runs behind the pillar. Cool. Oren, you're up. Yeah, so I'm going to do what I did before on hitting the pillars of just peeking that, peeking over, and then poof, pretty much... He hangs over like there. he's like, on the top bunk. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I got zoom, and then after the shooting, obviously... Orn will be right back up. So we're going to bam, produce flame straight at her because she is in range. That'll be a 29. That'll hit. Jesus. Give me damage. What an, what an egg bonus. I haven't used mine yet. Uh, that will still only hit my plus six. Okay. Uh, so then I will go ahead and do a damage. And that'll be nice. another 10 points of damage straight to her. She is hurting real bad now, y'all. What's All her right. last action, Orn? And um, unfortunately, I have no. The. I guess the only thing I could no, I can't I can't throw my uh, smoke stick that far. But yeah, no, I'm good. That's the end of my turn. Hey, okay. Aldrich, you're up. I'm moving because I want I want to get this done because I am. We are going overtime, and I want to go. You can do this. I believe in you, Baldrick. Four. Need to go forty. Two. Is that the distance? I believe. Good enough. Yeah, that's 40. I will throw my necrotic bomb. It's the last thing I got. The Carter sauce. Here we go. Poison garbage. Draw. 
Throw at target. Can he do it. Probably. We'll see. You're a. <sighs> you do have a hero point. Yeah, you do have. Do one. I? Ooh, ouch. Yeah. All right. Just fine. Update. Yeah, I give yeah. you one just in time. One, one apple, one attempt. Just go. Here we go. Oh. You're so full of shit. A six again. Uh, with a uh, hit. Uh, I saw it warble on the sixteen. <sighs> oh boy. Thurston, just tell me quick what I do. Do I hurt someone else? Nope. You just you do a little bit of splash damage. That's it. Okay. Cool. Uh, splash. Oh, can I can I do the fucking full splash of like four because it's my intellect oh, modifier. I'll give you I'll give you an extra one. Yes. Right, there we go. Four is the splash modifier. Hooray! End of turn. Oh God. I have failed at every oh. hurdle with these things. Okay. This is good. Uh, Tan Hazard, you want to? Uh... You are currently uh, dying too, so you need to roll me a 12 or higher to stabilize. Dude, I, is this a fortitude save? Uh, it's No, no, it's just a 12 or higher. It's a flat check. Oh, yeah, so oh, you, you can wounded. click that dice right by your dying value on your character sheet. Yeah, oh, that'll, that'll roll it for you. Top left there near your HP. Oh, you have one blood. die left of dying. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I mean, honestly, I got... I rolled a straight crit. So, I'm so... I'm cool. So he makes it no longer dying. But am I, am I perhaps awake? No, you are you are unconscious, but you are wounded. Wouldn't it be cool if I was awake though? All right, that's the end of that. Be. That's the end of that fantasy. Moving on. All right. <laughs> blast us. Well, she's gonna blast Rahua first. <laughs> yeah, that figures. Roger, that Roger. <laughs> but Rahua has covers. Heavy cover. Zorn, it is gonna be down to you to fly down here and like beat the shit out of her. As I don't know. I feel like Zorn's strategy oh. of lame it the fuck out. A miss with the first I attack. I know his, his strategy to lame it out is really good, but he's gonna run out eventually, and then she's just gonna go up there and. Well, shoot. it's uh, cantrips. I mean, Round yeah, I can, two. I can do produce flame all day. So. <laughs> beat this boss to attrition. Oh, uh, that didn't miss. Actually, no. Oh, that missed. Okay. Hey. Crap. We take those. Fucking gonna like pull the fuck back because what the hell and moves to there. As she fires two shots, both of them going around the pillar where Rahua is hiding. <laughs> oh. The dice are cursing all of us. I know, this is so bad. <laughs> We're all uh, it's going to make us waste our time. <laughs> all right, <laughs> you're on the cursed artifact. Uh, Which one of you was it? It was Barry, 63. Fuck! So, so Hulky, uh, do you want me to tell you some options you have? Or you good? I, I don't want to, like, play your fucking character. He knows what he's going to do. If, yeah, if yeah. you need help, just always ask. Oh, not target myself instead of that. I'm moving up 20 feet. Yep. I'm targeting her, and I'm going yep. to an arcade garage. Do it up. This is the crit. This is where this is where Hulky. You need to uh, stop speaking. Okay, I'm sorry. I will. <laughs> I would like to hero point it. Okay. Oh. I'm sorry, I'll be quiet. Oh, I'll put a hero put on my sheet. Fuck. <laughs> you need to stop giving us giving the dice card. I'm like, here's the chance. This is the one. Oh wait, it's not the one. For fuck. Watch your friends age here on twitch.tv. I'm decaying. I need a shower. I want to go eat burger. <laughs> Poor we gotta bar. suffer real quick, this is Arendelle. fucked. No, no, no. We got this. We're gonna this is, get this to come out until we're and done. Normality. I believe in you, Oren. You're up. Kill! Okay. Just do it! Oren's going to cast Produce Flame again. Please be balling. Please, Please be, balling. be the baller is ballering. It's baller and overall damage. That's going to be nine points of damage, and for my final action, so close to death. I am going oh to God. take cover. <laughs> so yeah, I can increase my cover value from two to four. To four, yep. Okay, ball trick. I have to be ballsy. I just got a shooter. I'm just going to shoot her with my crossbow oh and my, my expensive God. alchemical yes. bullets. Just, you know. just shoot it. her three consecutive times. Oh. Okay. I don't know if I can, because I, I have to reload it between each shot. Get her ass. So, so I can, can shoot her twice. I can, I can shoot her twice, because it's reloaded. Yep. With, I believe in Do you. With Baldrick. Fire. Oh, 
Oh. I will send you straight to hell for oh, that critical miss. Just the 20 oh. was there. It was a two, it was chat, by the way. Oh. All right, you reload, shoot again. Reload, fire again, map. I think I got like a, you're a yeah, dirt bag today. That's another miss. What the oh, fuck? This what? entire session's cursed. I have I, done nothing. I have done hey, nothing it's about okay. it. It's okay. At, it's okay. I feel like Go. a victory is inevitable. It's just 10 it, houses survived. <laughs> I have a houser <laughs> unconscious. Can I, can I, can I have a cool dream that brings me back to life? <laughs> nope, you don't have a hero point. Back you can the dream shiny of part now. Hurry up, uh, I, think I, uh, he, I think he gets a thing to where he can try to wake up. Because there's a lot of noise and everything happening around him. I mean, yeah, that's very uh, true. Whatever he just said is true. Like, like, he, <laughs> 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 like if you're unconscious, like, I can... Uh, you, no, if you're you unconscious you because you're dying, you can't wake up as long as you have zero hit points. I thought yeah, so I thought I thought I had seceded yeah. from dying. You you did, but you're still at zero. Yeah, you're still uh, at zero. I just didn't apply that. Yeah, you're, you can't wake up until you get. So says the bourgeoisie. Yeah, exactly. The but don't the worry, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna shoot Oren now. It's gonna be fine. He's taking cover. He is taking cover. Yeah, she isn't targeting me because I keep fucking missing. <laughs> Correct. She thinks you're on his side. <laughs> I've so far dealt more damage to my friends than I have the enemy. I'll hit Orin once. Ten points to Orin with a with a pistol shot that cuts through the upper level and smacks into Orin's shoulder, and then Shooting a second the shot. Second shot misses. Oh. And then third, she's going to move again and move to there. Moving deftly between the, the, the tables and the glass. Oh my fucking god, please end this, Rahua. I'm working on it. Here we go again, an arctic barrage. <laughs> Somebody get me yeah. through this nightmare. Here we go. Let's go. Now roll all ones on damage. Ah! He's so close. I don't know if I get any bonus because of that. So I think it's it. Like you chunked off bits of her armor. She's now I'm just gonna... this incandescent form of light. I'm, so... I'm gonna throw the fucking mace at her. Yes. <laughs> throw. How do I throw oh, it? Please. Oh, if this is what kills her, it, it will all have been worth it. How the fuck do I moment. throw the mace? How do you throw? Tell if, him now. If anyone was wondering what D&D was like during the Great Depression. <laughs> Thurston, you gotta tell me. I'm gonna kill you. Uh, Thurston, I'm turning map. into Rousey okay. smoking the blood. Okay, okay. Roll a multiple attack penalty, uh, like minus five fucking, or minus four, because it's agile fucking mace attack, and we'll see what happens. Throw! A natural Woo! 20! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding Yay! me? The animal! Are you fucking kidding me? By the rolling tides of chaos, I smite me. thee! You can't even write this shit. <laughs> you can't! <laughs> you you, you, you the, can't because it would yeah, get yeah, rejected. It, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the issue, though, is that you... There you go, she's dead! Fuck you! <laughs> can I, I flavor this? This moment this. of triumph. Wait, wait, I, wait, I want you to explain wait, wait. how your anarchic yeah. barrage, followed by your fucking, like, fucking, like, just like, hurled mace ends this. Oh. If you would allow me to flavor it without an Absolute. I've got This is your Please scene. Go ahead. Everyone, everyone's oh. just hokey scene. So with a horrifying roar, Rahua's eye glows brighter than it ever has, and just a roiling tide of chaos leaps forth into the Martinet's chest. It doesn't do enough to kill her, so in this Hail Mary, he just ejects the mace from his hand, runs up to her, the, the blow's already, it's already pierced through her chest. He gets right up to her, looks at her in her beaming eye holes. Though order may prevail this day, chaos Always rain. He grabs the handle and wrenches it through her chest, ripping out gouts of light as her essence begins to fade. As she explodes in a burst of light. How much damage do we take? 
None. It's I did great. debate having an ability that did that, but I, I opted not to. So. Okay, good. And that is the end. <laughs> of phase of two! This. Yeah! We're in <laughs> phase three, boys! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta bring out her essence. We gotta carry it out of the city! All right, everyone. Uh, that's the end oh, of the session. Thank you all for me. coming. Uh, 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 <laughs> what is uh, this Rick and Morty skit? Like, 15 minutes in and out. <laughs> uh, I'm not, you know, Rick, I need anthrax. You know, well, Thurston, gonna... I, I, you delighted in a fair bit of that as revenge against his players, but by the end, I could tell you were in just as much pain. <laughs> I was just like, for the love of God, you guys, like, ha like the first half of that fight, you were rolling so well, and then the second, like, half, I'm like, she just had too high her AC. Like, for fuck's sakes, it should bro, be this hard. Bro, I, I, I went in there, and I got downed, and then I fell, and then I proceeded to miss almost every single attack against her. Oh, my it God, was that incredible. was incredible. Oh but did you die? Gosh. No, but I feel like wow. my soul did. <laughs> Guys, if we if we talk about this for a single second more, my brain is going to implode. I need burger! The, this okay. game started with me getting we waterboarded with Sprite, and it ended worse. <laughs> <laughs> I must consume burger! Let's, 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 let's show it this okay, way. We're going we're gonna to speed around the outro, because uh, you know who the hell we are. Narrative, narrative, narrative declaration com for all the stuff. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you all next time. Yeah, so long, bye, bye. Please be safe. Watch. All right, we're done.